How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to Gilbert, Arizona. A little bit less sunny these days. It's a little bit darker earlier in the day, but that's how the seasons work. But we got our newest installment of Pierce Smash number 22. And this week, we'll be bearing the moniker of Flashback. Uh, my name's Laird. I'm here with my boy Fusky. We've got an interesting bracket here tonight. Yeah, it looks pretty stacked, honestly. I think all the Krupp brothers are here. Schroeder's gonna be there. Felix Frost, I got a few old timers, like Ronald and Tilter are showing up. Widget's also gonna be there. Yeah, uh, pretty yeah. stacked uh, for, I think, uh, Ascension's coming up in just three days. So everyone's trying to get that little bit of practice in right before, but excited to see what happens tonight, honestly. This is a stacked yeah. AF local. Yeah, speaking of Ascension, <laughs> let's take a look at that real quick. So uh, on October 23rd in downtown Phoenix, Arizona, we have the event of a lifetime, the first Southwest Regional uh, coming back pre uh, post-pandemic, and it's Ascension. So it's got the name, it's got the recognition, the biggest in the Southwest, and we've got all kinds of comers. We got SoCal, we got Vegas, we got Utah, Texas, we got pretty much the entire Southwest coming in. Arizona, obviously the host of it, and uh, home to a lot of your favorite names in Smash as well. So you definitely don't want to miss it. It's going to be streamed right here at SAK Gaming TV on Twitch. So definitely drop a follow, turn on notifications or whatever, so you get updated whenever something like that is happening because uh, it's going to be a hell of an event. Uh, I believe uh, registration's capped out at this point, if I'm not mistaken. It is capped, so, I'm pretty sure. If you didn't make the cut, I'm sorry. We've been talking about it for three months. It's not our fault, it's yours. But you can still catch the action here on the Twitch. Uh, I know I'll be definitely tuning in because it is gonna be a, a monster of an event. And, and I know a lot of the guys here at the event uh, for Pure Smash tonight are, are gonna be attending uh, Ascension this weekend. It's kind of weird though. The one, the four people I didn't see sign up with the Krupp Brothers, they are not gonna be there. Really, that, yeah. that's interesting. Very interesting to see that. So uh, I think this is kind of like their initial little, this is like their ascension to them. I think they want to prove themselves before everyone goes in, but we're starting out with a interesting it's match gonna... to start out with for round yeah. one. It's going to be uh, Dark Synchron versus Flacco. And I don't uh, think so I've ever seen these two play before. I think we've, we've seen Dark Synchron play. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if that was us or if that was me and Taco, but I'm pretty sure it was us because I'm pretty sure Dark Synchron played at um, Tap Jump a couple weeks ago. Or, oh, or maybe really? it was or maybe it was Pure Smash last week and I just became a forgetful Freddy. Honestly, I'm not too sure of it myself, but starting out, this Falcon's going in 64% right off the bat, 74, almost a zero to death, but that's not damn. down. <laughs> And it's it's rare to see that she hasn't gotten a single hit in at this point. There's there you go. The needles are uh, gonna help them off stage a little bit, but the pressure from Dark, Dark Synchron is just too much for Flacco right now. Yeah, Ooh, a little sloppy recovery, but he's still gonna get unpunished for it. Dark trying to find that first stock. That Eflo gonna send him off stage. Gonna get for the two frame there. Nope. He needs nothing at center, and I think that whiff is gonna be a little bit costly as he's got like 20 more percent on the board right now. She. Can't deal a lot of damage per hit, but she does hit hard and she does hit often. And uh, we're already seeing that percent window start to shift a little bit more into Flacco's favor. Yeah, here's where the strength of Sheik just show up. It's like, yeah, you might not be doing damage, but you're not gonna get hit and all you can do is hit him. So your advantage state better be spectacular here. Yeah, hopefully Flacco knows how to kill with this character because it's not something a lot of people are privy to. We do see a near drag down up smash. It didn't do combo. And uh, Dark Synchron was able to get the shield up the time, but up throw's gonna kill from center? I know Sheik's light, but damn. I I rarely see Falcon up throw kill. That was good DI even then. He was holding away from that too. I was like, damn. Okay, I guess Sheik just dies to that. I don't know. I mean, maybe they were expecting a back throw. Oh my god, nearly got that roll re too. That definitely would have killed. I am... I'm starting to like Flacco's, uh, you know, they're fighting out of the corner. Like, they're like, hey, Danimal. Um, but... Dark Synchron's just ready. Okay, except for that. that the, the Deku Nut's gonna pop and it's gonna explode. And, uh, Flacco's gonna be stopping the bleeding a little bit. It's like Dark is just using these, like, small minute punishes. He gets that one, but not gonna come off that down air. Is he gonna get the edge guard? Ooh, wasn't ready for anything. Land right in his face. 
That up B is notoriously hard to punish, though. Honestly, yeah. Especially, dude, teleport recoveries are so weird in this game, honestly. I think it's just been weird they in are. general. There's a, there's a lot of distance, uh, especially that Sheik's covers, that not a lot of people are ready to just be in the zone for. I'm trying to remember who's there. Let me move my camera so I can see. Flacco. Moving on up. This game is still pretty damn even at this point. Getting back to ledge. Oh, that nair. No ledge trap. Oh, down air. Oh, wow. Oh, I think I think you wanted that drag down. That was cool. Oh, again, just straight into his up smash. Blacko yeah, has oh, no he's gonna shield right down smash time, and there's that back throw. Back throw kills on Falcon, which is something I'm not used to either. Why does Falco have, or excuse me, Falcon have uh, kill throws? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. It is one to one last Speaking stock. of throwing, jumping into that up smash. Blacko's starting to turn up just a little bit. A little bit of effort trying to go for a down air. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that connect between these two. It really is. Oh, down tilt, there. Okay. <laughs> They're both just switching for combo starters right here. Come on, who's gonna find it? Can you blame them though? No, I cannot. This is I mean, pretty much well, these characters get a lot of damage off of uh, their combo game. Uh, Sheik's more like I, I, I guess she has to hit more just to get like these more complex combo streams. But Falcon has a way better punish game that Sheik's safe options are just very difficult to punish with, you know? Oh, the uh -oh. oh, we had the jump one two to down air. That was almost crazy. He needed a double jump there for that knee to hit, but um, he went for the short hop instead, and it just didn't go. Oh, I like that mix-up. Oh, but that back air is still going to take it. God damn. Close game one. Both by a blast off last hit. Honestly? Considering how that started out for uh, Dark Synchron, I'm surprised that it was even that close at the end. Yeah, he almost had like a zero to death right at the start. Yeah, and then Flacco just brought it back to near even immediately. I really like this mix-up recovery. It wasn't ready for it, but then he just dashed right into this back air. Super unfortunate. Yeah, it's, you hate to see it. That move is <laughs> a, kind of... It's got a bigger hitbox than I'm used to it, honestly. Yeah, back is a little dummy, and it's super strong. So uh, it's gonna be Callus for the counter pick. I know that I know for a fact that Falcon really likes the stage a lot, but I can imagine she can do some uh, crazy stuff with the uh, wall hang, get a lot of opportunities to mix up recoveries. Uh, not that she really needs it, because she's recovery is already pretty good. Uh, but I think having this bigger stage is gonna make it a lot harder for Falcon, or Falcon to get these early kills. Um, I think that's the thing is though, problem. yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Because Sheik has a hard time killing in general. You need some of your weaker hits to have a better chance to kill. That's why I would expect Town and City uh, to be the counter pick. But who knows? That might have been banned. Uh, at the very least, there's no open middle. It's a lot of space for Sheik to punish uh, over extensions from Dark Sea. That is true. Fast characters like this do love space to run around, especially when they're not the most aggressive. They don't have the best aerials that can uh, trade with something in the top of the top. But that edge guard coming out, oh, that's three back airs. Oh, just oh, missed timing that smash early. barely. Oh, some up tilt drag downs. So I was looking for that kill. There's certain oh. times in the match me, where neutral kind of devolves into fishing for, for uh, combo starters <laughs> or big hits if you're, if you're Dark Synchron. Both of these guys are just kind of throwing options and trying to see what sticks on the wall. Oh, okay! Literally, that's stuck on the wall. There's that gravity grenade <laughs> taking that first stock. Yeah, Dark Synchron just barely ran out of iframes at the ledge, and uh, the Deku Nut's gonna explode, and it's gonna give Blacko the stock early and the lead, and it's all only getting bigger from here. Possible to touch right now. It's a 51% lead, and Dark Seek Run's still looking for his first stock. And he has not been touched in like the last 30 seconds. There it is. There's one hit. Is he going to take the stock at the edge guard? Man, even if you try to, Black is coming back with the bouncing fish with the uppy. So if you if you overextend a little bit, Black is there to punish you with uh, one of their janky off stage options. Yeah, that mix-up was insane too. There was a, I don't think anyone was punching that, honestly. Oh, right at the second time though, good reaction. Got a little aggressive, is he gonna trade oh, socks? Yeah, that was such yeah. a good trade. We take those trades. Uh, Flacco with an excellent option there, coming up in there. A lingering hitbox to clip that jump from uh, Dark Synchron. And uh, yeah, sorry, man, you're not coming back.
that one. And already the damage is rolling out again. 37% unanswered. But a rapid jab is going to put 50 back. So about half. And Dark Synchron needs to find an option or an answer here. He's looking a little lost right now. Blacko just seems to have this game two down pat. Ooh, good call out with the spot knocks down here. Man, once Blacko gets comfortable, there are a few better. Honestly. And he looks so lost. It's just like, what do you do? This cheek is so hard to hit in the first place. He gets one grab, but not even able to combo off of it. Yeah, I mean, Sheik's easy to kill, but you gotta get the damage up on the board first. And yeah, honestly, the, like, they're low profiling, they're avoiding, they're they're moving around through all of these attacks. Dark Sheik finally is able to get something going, but not very much, and, and, and Black is staying alive. Oh, that was a good call up, but just a little late on that up smash. Let's drop and getting a little aggressive with the roll call out. It's very easy in situations like this, whenever you're down, to start throwing for your kill options. And I think Blacko needs to recognize this and just be like, okay, whenever Dark Secret throws out a laggy move like a knee or like a down air or something, I'm going to be ready to punish with a smash attack or with a drag down. Um, but right now, Dark Synchron's got full control. Back air, not going to kill from Blacko. They're going to go deep. Oh yeah, reads the wall jump with the uppy, and the stock is going to be taken. Blacko ties it up one apiece. It's going to be Dark Synchron's counterpick in game three. Man, what just a good edge guard sequence here. He gets a little shafted right at the beginning, but uh, able to make it back to stage. Yeah, goes high with the uh, uppy. Burns a double jump to get that extra distance too. Gets Dark Synchron off stage. They burn a jump. Have him at the ledge. Catch him with the back air. They have to air dodge in. That bouncing fish should have connected, but you know, you go that low, you're gonna need to burn a wall job, and uh, yeah, perfect trajectory, perfect calculation from Flacco to get that stock. All right, already got a one to one in uh, round one here. So we're moving on to game three. Looks like Yoshi's story might be the point. We're not going no, back we're to going PSG. right back to, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Honestly. So the best stage, by the way. Big fan. Yes, sir. Make the best game. Yes, sir. Thank you, Sony. Thank you, Sony. That's my first console, by the way. Three, really? Two, Which one? PS2 or one, PS1? Go. PS2. Oh, my goodness. Hey. So. Star Wars Battlefront? Dude, Battlefront 2, though. True. Absolute masterpiece. Also, you know what I liked? I liked Cars the video game. Me? What? Oh, I <laughs> yeah, dude, that game slapped. I liked. It was like the first open world racing game, and it came out before the movie did, despite what people might want to tell you. So, Lightning McQueen is a video game character. So weird. I got it after I watched the yeah, same. The, you know, the more you know, that's the, the, that's the trivia of the day for you that is never going to get you anything in life. But um, speaking of never going to get you anything in life, we got Dark Synchron throwing out a lot of attacks like that back air, but that is actually going to get him something. Finally hitting that little screen. God damn. Now I caught you once and for all. That's the first time Dark Synchron's been able to do anything to Flacco off stage. That was mostly just because uh, Flacco got a little aggressive. Yeah, oh, I, th I think Blacko kind of got a big head after that last match and was just like, all right, you, you can't bully me off stage. And Dark Synchron had an elbow waiting, but to answer right back, not to be outdone, Blacko gets the edge guard. Uh, no, no tech uh, stage fight, excuse me. Going back to neutral once more, getting a nice running grab. No combo though. Down air, not gonna combo. See, Dark Synchron doesn't really like true combos that much, I don't think. Because sometimes yeah, he'll, get a good, he'll get a good combo starter, but he'll just fish for like a smash attack or a knee or something. Because I think he's like just trying to put a fear factor onto Flacco. And, you know, ultimately, it, it, it can kind of work sometimes, but, you know, it's over extensions like that where Flacco can absolutely reverse it and, and capitalize on something like that. So, Clark Synchron needs to kind of stick to the, the textbook. They are textbooks because they do work sometimes. It's been proven to work, but god damn, that bouncing bitch is going to take that stock pretty early. He's at 85% yeah, and he's still living out 140 from the Falcon Nash stack. I'm shocked. 
Ooh, Doesn't good reaction. Strong there. move. Doesn't die to up throw this time. Yeah, this time they died it correctly. Well, the dash attack will kill. Last stock for both of these players. Already, round one. Moving on to last stock. Here we go. It's that grab. Down throw near. We're trying to get a hard read with that downer, though. Not gonna get it. If this, if this, the end of this match is gonna be anything like the end of last match, it is gonna be super tense right up till the end. And these guys are going blow for blow right now. Here we go. A couple up airs. That knee's not gonna fall out correctly. But oh no, and the up air missed. Unfortunate. Oh, trying to fish for down air against that forward throw. Send him off to the stage. The down air. Or actually, the game is working against Black though. Oh, it's up air. Dash is there. Oh, nice Back tomahawk up. grab from Dark Synchron. Knew the shield was coming up. Definitely was able to punish it. Try again, again, these like hard reads that Dark Synchron are having, none of them are working, but it is sending a message like, Black Oak, okay, you can't overextend here, but then get a full smash attack. Oh, oh my oh. god, you got too aggressive again. Your That's hubris was your demise, Black Oak. That's the second time that game gave up a star. Dude, I don't know where those aggressive. needles were going. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I you were you were a couple minutes behind. A good roll read here, but uh, for a second here, uh, where are those needles going, sir? Where are they going? It, maybe they try to be reverse and and it just didn't come out. That happens sometimes. I can I can totally see it, but. Hey, congratulations either way to Dark Synchron. You scored the right and the privilege of playing against um, Schroeder Ame in round two, so good luck with that. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be fun. I don't even know if he's there yet. We got a nice picture of a hand right now. Yo, Thank you very much. He might get DQ'd. He might. Which would be. Really funny. That would be kind of funny. Also, I haven't These been checking fun. chat. Sorry about that. We got Zach. No one much in the oh, back. Wow. Which, um, we got Zach. Zach, I don't how to say that. Zach and uh, Okay. Dude, and then we have Danny Paxter and Halo are also in chat. Welcome, guys. Yeah. Also, for those of you wondering why I'm wearing glasses, I woke up this morning and my left eye was swollen. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little bit. Probably not. Ooh. But it's a little, I, a little bit. bit. It doesn't look. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. It was much. It was much worse this morning. So I, I opted out of uh, wearing contacts today. So I was just like glasses only. I didn't even and, know you wore uh, contacts. Huh? I didn't even know you wore contacts. Well, it's not exactly as obvious as having you know a piece of metal with some glass you know attached That's to your face. Contacts true, are a little bit more true. subtle. I kind of like that. They don't have to call anyone <laughs> calling you four eyes these days, I guess. If even that yeah. still happened, I don't even think that happens anymore. It, it helps us visually impaired uh, feel like we're normal people sometimes, so that's why I prefer it. <laughs> yeah, can't have those ableist people saying, "Why aren't you? Why are you wearing glasses? Imagine being blind. Why are you wearing glasses? You, you can still see." It's like, Promise. yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> I, I like seeing things. This is this oh, is what uh, for those of you who are looking at the uh, player cam right now. That's what it looks like when I don't wear my glasses. <laughs> Like, just that that blurry, you know? I, I, I love you, production. It's, uh, I'm sorry. I, that, that's just, you know, I had to paint a picture. For those of you guys who have 20-20 vision and never get to experience it, you know, that that's pretty much that all the time. That's that's why I need to wear glasses. Oof. I remember that one time. I had to wear glasses a while back, and I just kind of stopped doing it. <laughs> you, you, and, you and production both said that to me tonight. Like, yeah, I don't need glasses anymore. I'm just like... I hate okay. you. I kind of still do, like, I can see perfectly on my right eye. My left eye is fucked. It's terrible. Uh, I I can't see shit right now. <laughs> yeah, well, it's my left so eye's bad. swollen, so, you know, we're in the same boat. Ooh, yeah. I still kind of cool. see out of it, but it's like, eh, you know. It ain't worth it. Just put on my glasses and we're good. Yeah. So, chat, how many of you guys are visually impaired? <laughs> Just asking if you're disabled, all right. I am too, so it's okay. <laughs> You're allowed to be disabled here at SAK. Yeah, we respect everyone. Disabled or otherwise. Oh, it's one of, my, one of my favorite things about this community is that we're always very accepting of other people from different backgrounds, you know?
Yeah, I definitely like that a lot. There's so many, many people here that from like so many different cultures and so many different backgrounds of what they've been through in life. And it's really cool to yeah. see them all come here. And it's sometimes like, you just get to see it when they play the game too. It definitely shows. I don't oh, want to absolutely. be like super, <laughs> like. Dude, I couldn't agree I more. I think it. one of my, one of the most interesting things about watching people play the video game is, um, you can tell a little bit about them based off of how they're how they're playing or where they're from you know that sort of thing a lot of different things have an impact on players play styles and i'll give you a perfect example those of you who know beast the uh, pokemon trainer name uh, made from the northeast part of the united states from tri-state he is the most emotional player on planet earth he plays based off of nothing but pure adrenaline um, actually, an example that most of you will probably know, Mars, he doesn't care what you're doing at all. He has no respect for anybody, <laughs> and it very obviously shows in his style of gameplay. So, And we yeah, can see just... something very similar, you know, happening here. Frost is a little bit more reserved in his gameplay, but whenever he gets an opening, he tears that sucker <coughs> open. I was choking on my saliva there. Um, <laughs> But, you know, uh, Schroeder, obviously, you know, a master of all crafts, but um, his pressure is safe and calculated, um, much like a villain is. Felix is very emotional when they play, and whenever they have an advantage, they can take it a long way, too. It's honestly, it's an amazing thing to see. It's not something a lot of people talk about too much. It is fun to see, because I know Felix uh, thrives on momentum. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, that one, oh hit, yeah. one hit, it's you're gone. Good games. Shake my hand. We're done here. Emotional, um, momentum based players are probably my favorites to watch just because you can always, always, always tell what's going on through their heads at any given Stop moment. Yeah, it's really fun to watch, especially now we have player cam. Ooh, production. Woo! Is Offline, that taco? baby. Oh, that's Ronald. I thought it was Taco for a second. <laughs> what, if, what if it was Taco? I think, no, Torch is there. I was like, I thought Taco was there. Never mind. Yeah, it is Torch. Torch is playing uh, Kira, I think, round one. Unless I'm crazy. And I saw the bracket incorrectly. Yeah, it is Kira Flax and Torch. That's funny. Also, yeah, Kira Flax is in uh, Arizona now. Don't worry about it. He's, he's been here a few times. I think he used to live here. I think he I... might he might have switched back to living there. I think that's what production was telling me before the event. That's awesome. Coming back to the home team, you know? So this is going to be a, an old classic. I know these... Let me, I'm curious to see if these people... What their record is. I'm going to look yeah, it up. But quick. it is going to be Widget and Ronald. Widget, the best Game & Watch main in the state of Arizona. Um, old school players, I think, both of these guys. Oh, yeah. Ronald has also just been dead because of COVID, so... Mm. But I couldn't do much about that. I hate COVID. Who doesn't? So I was gonna say, I, I don't think it's a hot take to hate COVID. <laughs> so they do have one set and a widget 120. That was back oh. at Ascension. What is this? Ascension 7. So it has been a long wow. time since they played. Well, they've had a lot of time to work on the craft over. Uh, the, the, the time skip, so. Mr. Also, <laughs> chair. Okay, so it, it will be Roy Game and Watch. Now, if um, Widget can get Ronald off stage, he can bully him. I mean, Roy has a very exploitable recovery. Game and Watch is, I think, a top three edge guarder in the whole game. And then, this, this on the other hand. But I think Roy's recovery is low-key broken, and it's very hard to hit sometimes. I think that recovery is really dumb. I mean, I, I guess he positions himself a little bit weird, but I'm just saying he doesn't have, like, multiple recovery options. Like, that is a lot true. of other characters do. So, if you get a read, you got him. Or, yeah, you could just two-frame, I suppose. I was worried about that. Also, a little Arizona history. He has the Jer tag. Ronald is technically the inventor of Jer. He coined the term. Really? That is from Ronald himself. That's wow. Where so came from. He's probably upset that we've been calling it Jack Air. <laughs> have you been calling it Jack Air? I, I have, I have this been. Term. Why? Yeah, I've been calling it J Jack Air and Jeff Smash. Because I want to be different, okay? Okay, Jeff Smash makes sense. 
No, I say, I say Jeff Smash. There it is, Ronald's coin term. It gets a nice read with that back air. Yeah, the raw back air. No, no jab required for that one. And yeah, then again, I was gonna talk about the other thing. Also, super armor beating out that dash attack. Yeah, Word Blazer has a little bit of super armor when you do it from a grounded position. Um, but Widget is, if you've ever played against him or watched him play, his one of his favorite things to do is bond, he bears your shield and then tries to grab you or do something after it. But that Roy super armor is so good against that. Can you just power through it? So right, there's one of his ready. main gimmicks. You gotta be ready to uh, cover those cross up angles though. And then right there again, even though he's on the other side, he's ready to react into it. Yeah. Whenever you're getting pressured, having a good up out of shield isn't isn't a bad thing by any means. It's by far Roy's fastest option because doing up out of shield, it cancels um, the uh, drop shield and the jump animation. That's why it's so yeah. fast. You don't get that free free jump spot. And you got super armor, which is probably one of the nicest things it has. And it's multi right. hit! <laughs> yep. So it catches spot on. But speaking of upbeats out of shield, what's better, super armor or full cool intangibility? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, Game of Watch was... Uppy, ladies and gentlemen, it can safely get him out of any pressure situation. I don't know why he has it, but he has it. Because God is merciless and hates his people. Yeah, I'll give him that. And by God, I mean Sakurai. <laughs> Sakurai did buff up in this last patch, and I will not forgive him and for that. And Little Mac, and Rosa. And also, nice down air goes right into... Yeah, yeah, Puff has a Jera now. It's fake, I swear. I swear it's fake. I was playing against I don't Felix's know. Puff. No, I played against Felix's Puff That's for like Felix's an hour. That's Felix's Puff, though. Wait, yeah, wait Felix is a good face, player. Face, what do you face, mean? Face. I know, I fake. know, but Felix, Felix does not main Puff. Puff is that up he's gonna be taking that Saga 170. It is 1-1. One, one. And uh, this combo game from Game of Watch is uh, quite good. Especially if you get a, a combo starter like that Nair or like an Uppy. Because having somebody above you and being able to up air spam them, it definitely deals a lot of damage. I mean, look at this. This is insane, dude. This, this combo game is simple. Right, and it's safe, which is the worst part. There's no risk involved in using these uppers. It's sickening. I, I want to throw up my combos that I use right now. Yeah, I fucking hate Game of Watch. I do Yo, love combos, that. though. Combos are spicy. Well, some of them. Oh, he didn't get hit by that back air? What? It was a, gr it was a very well-timed air dodge, I'll say that. And God then damn. And I, will, I will on the side scratch my head. <laughs> Because I don't know how that this either. But then again, this is near Max Rage Roy. Um, we just Roy did a good job of holding these. center. Roy doesn't <laughs> lose these. Roy's our boy, dude. He doesn't our lose boy. these. Okay, Widget, perfect pressure on the ground to cover that landing. He just oh my god. No, he can't get a solid hit in. Oh, he doesn't Wait. lose these. Wait. Oh. There's, a, there's a chance, oh. ladies and gentlemen. No. He's going to die to four there on the platform. It's Rage Roy, dude. He doesn't lose see, things. You can see which go. <gasps> oh my god, falling up her back here. It's Rage Roy, dude. He's going for the Flare Blade. Oh my god. Side beat. No! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Rage Roy doesn't lose these, dude. The no, creator geez. himself throwing out the Jer. He doesn't lose these. The Jer Inventor. <laughs> Look how beautiful you become, my child. <laughs> I was you to slay hell Joy. itself. Rip and tear. <laughs> there it is. Woo! Rip and tear until it is done. Wait, no, no, sorry. Rip and jar until it is done. Three, two, one, go. Just put that on a shirt. <laughs> wait, wait. Somebody make that for, um... <laughs> for, uh... Ascension. <laughs> That's actually, I, someone actually get on that. We do have a lot of Roy mains in the stage. Yeah. The way of Arizona. Roy is too broken. He's too, he's too good. His character needs to be nerfed heavily. It's not gonna happen. Promise I'm joking, sucks. Promise sucks. 
Prom sucks. Prom, prom is actually good. Prom is ass. I don't he's care what a, anyone says. He's just a way better defensive threat than, than Roy is. Ooh, Roy chair! Very offensive. Yep, there's the chair! Can we get a chair counter? So how many that's, that that's, that's two. That's two. Yeah. Two. Cause, cause yeah, two chairs. I, I remember he only hit... Um, that was a so dumb. I hate that. I hate that invincibility. That was Dude, so dumb. I'm just saying, he's, he's it, one of the best edge guarders in the game for good reason. I think he's like second behind Pikachu. Dude, it didn't even trade. It did. That's that's the insane part. So good. Oh my god, but this combo game from uh, Ronald's looking pretty good too. Um, down throw fairy doesn't have a jump. Tries to get the 2 frame move for B. Oh, Maybe trying to get an aggressive side B though. A lot of people have been side being uh, with the up variant these days as opposed to the down variant. Back air, raw, not gonna kill. It's more accurate, I'm pretty sure it's... Oh my god, there's another oh, chest! Jam number yeah, I guess, three! I guess it is safe and it pops them off, so you can probably get a follow-up there, but like... Yeah, I, 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 I very rarely see follow-ups that way. Man, already 47%, dude, Widget is in shambles right now! Alright, I'm playing for it. Oh my god, outline guy community yeah. in shambles. <laughs> 2D freak in shambles. It's a girl screaming child with flame sword. <laughs> oh my god, almost got that 2 frame again. Jabbing at ledge, man, this looks very familiar to someone I know. Lucky cross. But I will say, remember last match when Ronald was in the same situation as Widget? And he came back, baby. Widget could do the same thing. Nah, I don't see it. I see Roy. I just see I blood know. and sweat and tears. Oh! Roy doesn't have rage yet. It doesn't That's matter. Only... It doesn't he matter. This. He's about to get rage. He's hit by one more hair. Oh, this combo game from uh, Widget. Looking good. He's, he's playing safe. All you're doing is feeding the beast. <laughs> he is you're hungry feeding for the damage. damage. You're feeding okay, the boys. beast. A little There's trade more there. rage. Oh. Oh, dude, I don't know. I don't know. I think he needs to get Ronald off stage. Nah, you're feeding the beast. He doesn't lose these. He is Rage Roy now. Oh, oh my god, he went for the Rob smash. I'm trying to use the uh, capability to catch his landings. Oh! I don't know. I don't know, Fusky. I think no. we're going to a game three. Yeah! Oh, Oh my god. Oh, Rage Roy let me down. Come on. <laughs> Dude, two no clutch comebacks. What's going on? For one from each player this set. Night's been kind of nuts. Man, they just came back from both of each other. Now what happened? Well, whoever's losing going into the last stock is going to win. If, if, if this holds true. Here we go. Did we go back to PS2? No. Please tell me we did. No. What? Lame. Three, oh my god, Game Watch on FD. One, Why would you do go. this to yourself? Are you a masochist? This is the, the Ronald counter play. Yeah, Ronald, where are you gonna land, my guy? Ex go. Except for on him, okay. 40%. You know, I'm gonna let Ronald do their work. I'm gonna, you know. Refrain from any criticism until the uh, the match is over. I was gonna greedy ass F smash though coming out there. Hey man, oh don't God. judge. He knows better than we do. I guess so. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. I, I think I think giving Witch the third game uh, makes things a lot more difficult. Hey man, I got so many sour spots too. Love to see it. That downer is not gonna be Wait. much though. He's gonna get the edge guard. Not gonna kill just living. yet. Ooh! I think he wave bounced the uh, player blade to give himself a little bit of distance. And then he pivot boosts the F tilt from center with near max rage to get the kill early. No fear. That down smash yep. is gonna take that stock. 2-2-0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah. We'll start a nice up air string, not gonna connect. He gets his own yeah, but... air string started. Uh -oh. Here we go. Hey, hey, shout out to uh, Buck Ronald for saving their jump in and get out of that combo, but they hop right back into another one. They're at 
and catches a landing with a down smash for 62. This is not looking good for Corona right now, but then again, they're only one combo away from having this thing evened up. Oh, straight into that bomb. Not looking too good for Ronald right now. Gets the up B. Almost got the frame drop in the up air. Ooh, interesting back air though. That's gonna get him punished. Looking for it. Nice grab. Sending him to the ledge. How's he get out of there? From there? I don't know. This is, the rage is starting to build on Ronald a little bit. So if we get a Jer, maybe at this percent, it might kill. It could very much kill at this percent. I see it's some down tilt action going on. He's trying to get out of the corner against Game & Watch, man. This shit sucks. Yep, yep, especially with no platforms either uh, to catch those bombs. So they're gonna be landing on the ground every time. Ooh, good jump, baiting that down air. Don't want to get hit by that guy again. I'm trying to get a B reverse side B landing. All right, watch at the ledge. He's gonna up B instantly out of disadvantage. Right the back stage. air. Okay, no punish. He's gonna come back on. He's near max rage. He's gonna air dodge instead of going low. Get back on the ledge. He's gonna miss his sweet spot on the side or the forward tilt. Forward air, air. Not gonna kill. Almost taking it. The second stock is so heated. They just want that kill so badly. Back air is not gonna take it. Yet. Jumps straight into it, but not gonna take it. Whoever gets this right now is gonna be in a big lead, and it was Widget to strike first. But well, we do know how the story goes. Yeah, Troy could be coming back here, but he needs to find the second stock quickly. Yeah, yep. There it is. Back. Okay, thirty to zero on the last stock each. Ronald looking to get a victory over Widget, who beat them so long ago in Ascension. Beating your demon from Ascension would bode well for the future, don't you think, Fusky? I mean, hell, if it was over two years ago, I, I would hope that I would have been pretty slightly by beating someone who beat me that long ago. Just right, right, but you gotta very imagine. Vindicating. You gotta imagine Widget's improved too, so getting a win here would be huge for Ronald. Oof. I think Ronald if Ronald could get a, a smash attack read, they'll be, they'll be winning if they can hit it. Oh, it's getting close. It's getting very close, but that extended back air, the lingering hitbox is going to push Ronald off stage into the corner. They have to land. They're going to use a jump to do so. They get down. Oh, no. The dash attack helped with low profile. Oh, but they're going to avoid the down air. 141 near max rage. Okay, they're pretty much, they're like at max rage. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now Maybe. that, that is a good win to have going into Ascension, baby. No way, watch this. So first of all, he doesn't get hit here. Game of Watch is trash, by the way. Sends him up. Yep. He's already in disadvantage, Ronald's scared. This da I think it was uh, this dash attack just barely misses. Uh, right here? Yeah. Yeah, right there, yeah. that would've killed, and he jumps right over it again. And the second Jabs one, too. Still catches. Yeah. Oh my god. Excellent. I think that was plot armor coming out from Ronald. Dude, Rage Roy. <laughs> he never seems to amaze me. That is... That is... That is a, that's a big win. I can't believe that actually happened, dude. What? A, congratulations to uh, my boy Ronald for clutching that one out. They're going to advance to the next round of competition. Uh, they're going to be playing against the winner of Schroeder, Ame, and Dreamy. And then I think next on stream is going to be uh, Kira and Torch. Oh, that's Kira. I recognize that face anywhere. So Kira Flax, the, the SoCal native, moving back to Arizona. Fighting my main man, Torch, the homie. Yes, sir. Kira Flax. Uh, one of the most notorious ragers in the community. Man, you don't uh, have if, 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 <laughs> if you've seen, if you've seen any highlight reel, you know. But we appreciate him for it. But he's a lot more than that. He's a very talented player. I have not I, seen him play at all. 
Oh, I, I, I haven't I, I either. I never used to watch a, bit, a bunch of his stuff, but... I, I know he, break, uh... I, he, I think he made Rob at some point. And Pit. Oh, yeah. No wonder... Dude, Pit doesn't work. I can understand getting a little upset sometimes. Okay, but Rob... Well, I... Why do you think okay. he switched to Rob? <laughs> Come on, dude. It sucks! Nice. Uh... Oh, okay. Thanks. Stop Thank you for dodging. Wait, that's really cool. Okay, cool. Karashi just gave us something uh, quite awesome. I can't... Oh, Felix, that's awesome! Got some Felix for being a master at work. Oh, and all my tabs closed. That's really funny. I'm surprised I'm still here. <laughs> anyway. Three, two, so, right. we're going to be going in. It Go! is going to be Kiraflex rocking the Rob, the, the uh, Pascal King, which is a nice color, I'd say. And uh, we got Torch with the Ness. All right. I thought he was definitely. I know he plays both Boy and Ness, but I'm surprised he went. Actually, no, I've heard Ness destroys Rob, here, so. This actually makes uh, sense. Well, Ness has really good close quarters options, especially out of shield with that Nair. Um, and Rob has one of the most miserable disadvantage states in the game. Has such a hard time getting out of the corner. Um, but no, Ness is Ness is ridiculously floaty. Uh, but they can do that. But yeah, if you hit him off stage with a side B, yeah, it's it's it's, it's not good. Yeah, I think this is a volatile up. matchup. Uh, must be. Um. I'm not a Robert Ness player, so I'm, I'm gonna have to go and agree with you on that one, just because it's probably the most likely situation. Yeah, just pretend you know some things, and, and people will agree. That's just kind of what I figured out. It, it's really that easy. I guess so. Man. Yeah, but you know, considering I am from Tri-State, I do see this matchup quite a little bit, honestly. And sometimes so, Kirifak can just hop back in neutral and just empty hop a bunch of times and then go for a laser. So... It's been working. I've seen it hit twice. Look, he's able to avoid the thunder really nicely too. Yeah, Torch still looking for his first kill. He's got Kiraflex at the ledge. I really like the pressure he's keeping there. He's keeping Kiraflex in the corner, which is really good play there. Yeah, but it doesn't look like Kiraflex is keen on overextending at all. They're they're using their projectiles very nicely to try and do that, and their long disjointed aerials like the back air. Um, and and Kiraflex only goes in for pressure whenever they see an opening. Like, like yeah, there. That was a tech chase. They went in for, they went in for some action. So, Kiraflex kind of trying to camp up the Ness a little bit, probably because they realize how good the close quarters buttons are uh, from Ness and how easily they can get blown up. Well, there's that back air that's going to come out, and Forge is, uh, even, has it even in terms of stocks, but you know damn well that Kiraflex won in a way. Hold up, this game fires into a different position. Taking a nice 46% from that. Ooh, good DI on that up air. He's not going to kill this yet. Ooh, he's at the ledge. Press go off stage wow. with the aggressive. Oh, oh, oh my god. I thought there was going to be some hit. smash ultimate cheese right there. Dude, I saw Kiraflex's life flash before my eyes. I did too. It was like, it, it could happen. It could happen it would to you. Hap it would happen in this matchup of all matchups. It would happen to Kiraflex too. Up throw will kill. Yeah, no question. No DIing no. that one. And, um, I don't know, Torch, that, that second stock was, uh, ridiculously productive. Not only did they take care of Flex's first finally, but they also, uh, have it very close to losing his second stock. And it's close to an even game. If, uh, Torch can just get, like, one good kill confirm, um, it, it's gonna be close to even. The problem is, Pure Flex is, is applying so much fake pressure, and Torch has just no option to avoid it. Down tilt, Ooh. one of the best grounded options in the game. This is gonna be a re-grab. Oh, but Kiraflex mistimes the spike. Good run for him. Is immediately getting back on the stage to look up off the wall. Kiraflex is tilt. so patient at all times. There's a forward air. Not gonna kill. He's hovering in place, and yeah. 
That's a, that's a scary situation. You don't want the Rob to come hit you. You don't want to cover, but you don't want the to hit you. It's kind of freaky, but Hereflex is going to pull that one out. That looked... I, I know that second stock from Torch was really good, but that looks really convincing from Kira. Kira's playstyle with Rob is unlike anything I've ever seen. Kira started abusing down tilt. She wasn't really doing for the beginning of the match, but uh, <laughs> Torch did just, not know what to do against down tilt. It was really funny to watch, not gonna lie. Kira Flex was like camping in Torch's face. Yeah, and he's just eh, eh, down tilt. Yeah. I, well, yeah, like, and then at the beginning of the match, he was just kind of hopping in place, getting ready for laser, getting ready for gyro to come out and hit. He like just was was just outside of Ness's burst range, and he used that quite to his advantage. And uh, that's how he was able to get a lot of his early damage with the with the gyro and with the uh, lasers, because he was so far outside of the threat range that he could very safely uh, punish any little overextension that Torch did with like his his projectiles. Oh my god, oh my gosh. Drop. that pressure's oh my. insane! It almost happened. The zero death almost happened. Oh, he, he almost let it be him. No, don't let it be you. Especially against Rob, don't let it be you. No, oh, I'm sorry, bro. Oh my god, he's mashing that, that side B. He's mashing that hard. <laughs> Kira Flash. He was, he was pressing both buttons so hard, dude. That's pressing control and breaking his grip. Everyone watching. <laughs> There's so many people watching this set right now. Dude, Torch is just- he's got an entourage behind him. The gang battle pull up. Hey, <laughs> Kierflax wins this, the gang battle pull up. Oh, the gyro. The gyro is such a good- uh, it, it's a very good item because it's just a constant hitbox at all times that you can pick up and throw and stuff like Broken. He's out a lot of moves, dude. Just it up, come out. That upper did yeah. not connect. That would have killed 100%. Yeah. 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 I no, honestly, I I'm kind of with the Dutch in there. He said um, Rob Gyro is harder to pick up than Pyro Mithra. Oh, yeah. Up tilt up there. Man, that's all I can say about that one. Just man. It up here is, is it? Up here is an interesting move. Because it, it's very hard to DI. Because at the start of the move, you have to DI one direction and then DI the next. Um, so, you know, it has like a built in mix up to it. it it's Not so, so it's so difficult. Space, it? Yeah, it, it's really weird. Like, I don't even. I, it, it's something I can avoid easily when I'm playing. Um, but it's not something I can really put into words just exactly what you're supposed to do. Or looking for some kind of option that. And he's gonna. Okay, so. Still no back item drop, uh, Zer drop in this game is rank one. So, Kirafox was able to Z drop the gyro to get out of that forward air from Torch. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh that, was, that was such a funny little interaction. I hope I hope Torch enjoyed hitting the hitting the gyro while he's down three stocks, but you know, everyone gets their shot of fun. <laughs> I, I, I think he's gonna <laughs> enjoy it as much as uh, Kiraflex is gonna enjoy uh, getting the fist bump and leaving. And there's the up air to prove it. No, but good guy from Torch. Okay, he read that roll. It isn't impossible, but I don't believe in Rage Nest like a bleed of rain. Oh! So Kira, cool. you madman! Z drops into go off stage Bro, side. Actually, that wasn't, that wasn't all that cool. I just you said you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Dude, it's that's all I'm gonna say. It's like I, I saw it happen, and then it's like, oh, he jumped into it. I mean, <laughs> did he have time to react to that? I want to see it. I want to see it here. Or was that? No, he no, didn't. that was good. That was good. Yeah, he got the. It, it was a good. Up. It was a good play. I just don't think it was particularly hype. But anyway, welcome home, Kira Flash. Hi. Hello. You want to smile and wave to the camera, Kira? Yo, Kira, smile and wave. Yo, Kira, put your mask up. Kira, there. Cover that nose, Kira. Let the man breathe. He just had to play against Ness, bro. Dude, all he was doing was breathing, though. Like, Torch barely got in that match. That set, even. Kira was just so good at knowing his options and making sure that Torch had none. Gotta play the matchup, man. I don't know what else to tell you.
Or right, we got Krupp and Zekrom. Oof. Krupp and Zekrom. Uh oh. Zekrom. Um, somebody. One of one of our favorite commentators on our casting team. And they're playing against the number two seed tonight. Here we go. Are they gonna play Sonic? Yes, sir. We have Asatil Yuri is going on off stream. That's that's a that's a matchup nightmare, I think. Uh, a little bit. That sounds a little hectic. Yeah, but it's all right. We got we got Sonic Falcon on stream. So um, I, honestly, I really couldn't give a good analysis on the set because I know I know Sonic is really hard to pin down. Um, but that Super Armor Raptor boost. Yeah. Might be a good <laughs> I just saw that. I was like, wait, that's actually kind of broken in this matchup. I was like, wait a second, Krupp knows the matchup? I was like, wait, hold on, that's actually oh! kind of good. That read was so ahead of its time, but it was so good. Honestly. Haven't I really been noticing a lot of players have these days is uh, this will get up into roll. It's a Wi-Fi, man. It's the Wi-Fi, dude. It, it's, the, it's the brain rod. Hopefully in a few months it'll, it'll start. You know, getting getting peeled out a little bit. People will stop doing it. I I just got third place at a tournament. Uh, I would have had second, but somebody hit, caught me doing that. So oh, don't do no. it. It's your, it's your it's your uncle Lair over here telling you, do not get up and then home. don't do it. Yeah, I think uh, a little bit of Wi-Fi Sonic might do that to you, and I don't think Krupp's having it anytime today. Trying to get a quick stock in here with that 14% on Zekrom. Looking yeah. to get a little extra credit. Ooh, try to get that down air. Uh-oh. Oh, he's I've going. Okay, it's, oh, Zekrom just... Okay, gets the F-Smash! Punch that over a from that drop. Why is Sonic F-Smash so huge, by the way? He's kind of neat. It's the size of the city of Miami. That is true, but he kind of needs it. I disagree. What do you? What is he? I hate him too. Everyone does, but he kind of needs it. No. The smash attacks are kind of bad. Buff did beat buffs. Okay, let's let's be real. This is very true. This just doesn't look fun. I know. Krupp. I don't know. Let me look and see if these two have played before. Here we go. I don't know if they have. Um... <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The, uh, the the new system that Felix developed, so we can actually check out matchups. If you want to get your hands on that technology yourself, head on over to the Discord. Because I'm pretty sure production. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's public information now. Yeah, community announcements. So yeah, the pub it is open to the public. So if you want to look at that, if you have any questions, like how many times has uh, Krupp eaten um, Stroger? You can look that up. A lot. Too many. Too many. Okay. Yeah. Too many. Oh my God. There's a near, near um, up air string is a knee. Background barely holding on for dear life. This is pilot. Which one of this pure smash is pilot program thirty one? I don't know. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's right. Cause no one showed up for Sora. But anyways, I'm gonna play for Jada. Zekrom trying to be elusive right now, but uh, she's gonna get caught. Oh, almost got caught by that down air too. And Krupp's just kind of overwhelming Zekrom right now. Zekrom doing doing their best to stay alive, but it, it, it ain't looking good. So I did a little check. So Krupp does have one win on Zekrom, and I think it was last week at the pilot program. 2-0, pretty clean. So I think he's rolling into this pretty solid. It looks like he cleaned up that last arc without even losing his second one. So maybe the download is complete and we might see a steamroll this second game, but uh, I like that punch though. Really good reaction like to the, the homing attack. Nice back air. Yeah, the thing about, the thing about Sonic is um, Sonic's hard to pin down. You really got to punish them when you have the opportunity to. Because oh, they yeah, don't present themselves very often. Yeah, you gotta take those openings when they're good. Oh, here we go. Game two! Game number dos. If you're Spanish. Numero dos. Or, um... 
game number two. Number two. Or a duel, if you're free. Why do you know that one? That one's weird. Uh, if, I tell you, gonna, if I tell you, you're gonna... If I tell you, you're gonna make fun of me. Why? No, let me hear it. Because <laughs> Markiplier is wild as Korean. Oh! I didn't know that. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Really random. Yeah, that downer almost killing at 70. Oh my god, that back here too. Zekrom having to be nice and dodge. Live that! Oh no, but you gotta air dodge right into those little legs. Such good options to cover from Captain Joe right there. Zekrom's not gets a cart racer. Why are, her, why are his legs so weak? He manages this. I don't know. I know it's high speed cart racing production, but. I mean, he's still sitting down. Oh my god, Krupp is running over this guy. Yeah, honestly, you know, we're, we're used to seeing a lot of slower paced gameplay whenever there's a Sonic on, on screen, but, I mean, not so right now. She's throwing, I'm convinced. Okay. She's throwing. Zach Rom, I know, I know you don't want to make her number two seed look bad. Okay, they see, you know, a little sign of life there. Yeah, it can't um, be a three star. Yeah, can't be, can't be a three star. You know, you gotta you got let them know, you know. Who, who the winner is here? But, um, you know, I, I think I think Zekrom feels bad because it, if she goes full strength, Captain Krupp might, you know, fall and lose his bracket a little early, and we, we don't want that. Yeah, I can't have that happen, especially when you see the number two. Yeah, Zekrom knows it's bad for viewership. Yeah, we're gonna see Schroeder Krupp. I don't even know if Schroeder's <laughs> here right now. If he showed up today or not. No, Schroeder's here. Uh, he did show up. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's been making making steady practice all night. 2-0 Dreamy, 2-0 Dark Synchron, looking to 2-0 Ronald. I'm just looking for this last stock here. Ooh, baiting that homing Zekrom. attack. Zekrom looking poised to take another stock, actually. Uh, they, they've had a lot of momentum for a little bit. Uh-oh! Yeah, bait. sorry, never mind. That was it, such it, a good uh, bait. I, commentator's curse. That was such a good bait. Yeah, it was. It was. Not a lot of characters have the mobility to avoid homing attack in that way, but when homing attack hits the ground, instead of a shield, and uh, Sonic can't mash, mash air dodge to get out of the uh, end lag of it, it's, so it's uh, it. yeah, it's rough. Right here. You guys see it reaction. again? Yep. Perfect timing on the dash back. Perfect space on the F smash. Poetry. You love to see it. You do uh, indeed. All right. So we're gonna get more Krupp Brothers action though. We got Astil Rinsley. The boys. I do not think I, let me see. How much of these two wait, play. wait, 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 wait. This event is super stacked. Okay, so yeah. here is here here's our, our winner's quarterfinals lineup right now. So Stroder, Ame, and, and Ronald are playing right now. Acetil and Renzai, who are going to be on stream right now. Felix and B-Rice, who are going to be on stream next. And then um, Captain Krupp versus either Frost or Kira Flats. My money's on Frost. Do you want to want to side? Do you want to side bet again? I just got my five bucks. Five bucks. Five, five, five bucks on on Frost or Kira. I put five bucks on my boy Frost. Ooh. Um. That's, a, wanna... that's such a bad matchup for Rob. I don't, <laughs> I, don't I don't even think it's a bad matchup. I just think Frost is a better player, in my opinion. In my opinion, Frost is good. I think he's better! Is that wrong? Jeez. <laughs> In my opinion, I think this Smash Ultimate thing is pretty cool. In my opinion, I like playing video games. In my opinion, I am a gamer. No. Shut up, production. production Shut up, is production. Wrong. Production being weird again. Production being kind of weird. But thank God we're the arbiters between the chat and production right now because. Production he... based. <laughs> he, you could change that production. You could, but I don't know if you'd want to. He'd lose viewership. <laughs> yes. We definitely do. Yeah. Granted, granted. Um. Dara and Fang 
pretty good at their job. Also, Astro with the haircut, I'm just saying. Kind of looking a little fresh, honestly. No. Oh. No! <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, oh no. no. I do love Castlevania, though. I do love Castlevania. So it's party. gonna be on Hollow Bastion too. We get to see this stage in action. A lot of people. So this stage is basically just a bigger Smashville with a smaller platform in the middle. Yeah. Same classes as, as, as Eti. Wait, that's a good stage layout. I think the stage is a little long. From what I, from what I like I, this. From personal practice, I feel like you die a little early on that stage. I, I, I kind of like this stage. Honestly though, I, I wish like you could, you could uh, edit it so that like, last stock mode was always what was happening. Yeah, um, it's only hazard. It's so cringe. Oh, that sucks. Uh, it's so I will say though, I will say though that um, background is, is quite nice to look at. Oh uh, yeah, dude. I was, doing, I was talking to Felix last night. And he's like the same thing as like. Well, that's Disney stuff in the background. That's true. It's so weird to think about. Yeah, honestly, how, how on earth did they manage this one? It's so weird to think about. That's Disney stuff in the video game. A multi billion dollar industry can uh, rub our dollar bills together and make anything happen. No way. Production? Are you? Serious? I'm gonna need citation on that. Yeah, send the link. Yeah, send the link. I'll read it on stream in between uh, sets at some point. Um, but Renslay in a bad position. They're at lead versus Acetil, who's one of the most aggressive Belmonts I've ever seen. Acetil, by the way, had to beat uh, Yuri in order to get here. So he already had to play and, a Belmont Ditto, and now he's playing another one. Yeah, now you've got another one, and um. I, I love Renslay, but I, I think I think it's between Yuri and Asatel for the best Richter to see. Oh, Renslay just doesn't play this character. I mean, I does. Because... Wait, really? No, Renslay How plays I can. What, dude? What kind of speech check did uh, Renslay uh, fall for from Asatel in order to play this character? Dude, they're just the Krupp brothers. They always gotta play the Ditto. That's just the thing. I, I love Krupp brothers. They do dude, the Krupp brothers. I would I would be very whenever I'm in Arizona it will happen at some point. I really wanna just sit down and, and have, like interview all of them at the same time. Like actually I'm surprised Shaq hasn't done that yet. Yo Shaq. You know, I, I, I charge commissions for my ideas, but I think it's a pretty good one. Do it did you see Renslay? Did you see what he did there? Yeah. Holy he water threw out the holy him. water to pre to prevent the tether recovery. That that's genius. I hope this ends up on Eat Smash for some reason. Yeah, that was insane edgeguard, goddamn. Renslin might not play this character, but uh, that was that was a very awesome interaction. They sure knew how to bullshit each other. Hey man, that's a crumb other way. Oh I don't know, I still kinda struggling a little bit. Okay, well. Wait! He didn't die? I'm shocked. Well, he had to use his job, so yeah, he couldn't do much about the uh, the second hit. Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Hey! Get get this Rick the man out of here! But, yoink! And he lives. He's like, oh my god, I lived. I had to burn a jump and an air dodge. Yeah, sorry, mate. You can't do anything about that. They're gonna get a morning star right to your rib cage. Gone. Gone. Exterminated. Ness? Pete Fox? Who's he gonna play? Duck Hunt! No, no way he plays. Ganon! What? Why? 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 He loves Go back Ganon, to Simon. dude. He loves Ganon. This, this is not gonna end well, dude. I know it's the Krupp Brothers, but... Press it till! He takes Shadow. Go. So everything's a little better. It sounds like that Take Doom this. song that they played in the Meet Trail Take this! I don't I'm gonna say that's not gonna be in the game. Yeah, it's not. So good. They didn't put the, the Dragonborn theme in the game right either. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. But I know they did play that over the um, the Dragonborn trailer whenever Kazi came out. 
forgot they really did release like four new wow. classes for like the most popular characters. Dude. Acetil just kinda got rocked there. Oh no. Whoa! The? I've seen okay, that so before, but I've never seen it. Oh I my haven't. god. Oh my god, he got that S three too. And then there! There's no jump on that Rick there. You were doubting the why were you doubting the Ganondorf again? Why? I I I, I forgot it was the Krupp Brothers Super Formula. It just <laughs> No, God don't damn. don't get Ganon excited. Okay, okay. I really thought the Ganon excited was coming. Ganondorf, crouch kid. Crouch cheering for a three stock. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> Woo! Stop mugging, dude. It's this is robbery. Took my man to the dojo. See, uh, Red's like got robbed out of that game one after the Astral speed check, and he said, "All right, enough game." All right, Astral game time though. I still, yeah, putting his head to the ear. Oh my god, he's playing Minesweeper right now. If I were asked to, I don't want this going to game three. Oh my god. I definitely don't. Oh no! Man, he got his jump Dude. snag. Yeah, and that's the, that's the second time that Rensley has uh, sniped out that, that tether. Using either his body or another projectile. That's that's kind of nuts. Should have edge guard this character. Well, yep, pretty much. All right. Well, we're just gonna run it right back. But this is gonna be Astro's counter pick. Three, two, nope. one. Got the Castlevania boys. Dude, God, this okay. song is raw as shit. I will oh, say, I wait, which one was it? Vampire Killer. Yeah, dude, I love Okay, so, funny story. Uh, when I was in, in, in Canada, actually, I'll tell you after this day. But anyway, this song slides. And uh, it's, it's FD, or excuse me, it's Battlefield again, so same same layout as the last one. Oh no, he almost got cheesed! Uh, the, 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 the command grab came out, but uh, the Nair connected with it in such a way that Asitil got dropped, but fortunately they saved their jump and they were able to make it out. But Rensley is so good at just co commanding the space, taking all the space that up, hit? catching that Nair with that the F-Smash. That didn't hit. That called bullshit. It, it, it clipped his vampire skin roots. And he used up air to beat out the axe? Dude, I am... What is <laughs> Dude, Brent's like the right? biggest brain of he anyone I've ever met. No, no oh way. My God, he's oh my far. god. No. Oh! He's like a buzzsaw, dude. Okay, he didn't. Okay. Good but they, uh, sorry, the F-Tail's a little too much. I saw Renze with the IRL DI to try to help live that a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, fuck! Take this, go. No! Oh. God damn it! Alright, good shield. Oh, I'm waiting for the cross to hit too. Gets to put 50%. Yeah. You had another hitbox coming back your way, Rensley. You gotta, you gotta be aware of that. Air dodges into the cross. And Astatil's just got a pin in the corner. There's not very yep, much you can do is. about that. He's gonna have to burn an air dodge. He doesn't have a jump, though. Alright, all right. things are looking grim for our hero. Nice aggressive recovery from Astil oh there, taking a quick 50 again! Nice aggressive combo oh from Astil as well! Friends like can't make that back! Hey. Yeah! Astil taunting his brother! Get far, dude! I think, I think Astil realized, oh, he could actually grab me and make it his back. Hold up, hold up. Let, me, let me not do that. His hubris wow. nearly got the better of him. This is like pretty much a zero to death right at the start. Here it is. Aggressive with the, the holy water. It's the back air, cross. It's bold. Yeah, cross into axe into angled up back air. I don't think did he use a jump? I'm pretty sure he did, but that might be it. Yeah. He's dead right. Nope, he used it right there. No, he didn't, he didn't use his jump. He scared him just by existing. Damn. Yeah, that that babysitting pressure was so insane. Okay, so I got a, I got a quick little story about Vampire Killer. Oh my god, be rice Felix now. So um I stayed in I stayed in a town called Richmond, uh, which is I think like I don't know if it's a borough of um, Vancouver, but um, Vancouver's where where Pinnacle uh, took place. I, I was there for commentary, and um, the people I was staying with told me that Richmond, which is like very very close to Vancouver, it's like the 
the city like just south of it, it has a really large Asian population. Uh, I think I think it's the city with the biggest Asian population in uh, the I think in this hemisphere. Okay. So you know that that that's that's a lot. But a lot of their architecture, their stores, their their food, it's, it's inspired by Asian culture a little bit. So they took they took uh, me and Arbiter uh, to an arcade. And, you know, a, a ton of rhythm games, a ton of like, you know, uh, it, it was it was an Asian arcade. It was awesome. Uh, but on one of the machines, it was like, it was like uh, a, a four by four grid of squares, and um, it was a rhythm game where you had to you had to like hit the squares at, at the right time whenever they flashed or something. It, it, it required an immense amount of coordination, but they had Vampire Killer on it, and um, really? yeah, the guy we were staying with is a a pro at that. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Actually. That was insane. In broadcasting? Okay. Um do we have do we have time for that? Yeah, there's some there controls. Okay, so real quick, production just kinda told us how um how Sora came to be. He sent us an article. Uh but Sora literally only exists because of a chance encounter that Sakurai had with a Disney executive in an elevator one time. So they were able to have a conversation and uh, get Sora into Smash Brothers just by, just by a, a chance happening. And uh, production was in her ear about that. So, I mean, you know, I'll, take a, I'll take a look at the uh, That's news insane. article. Oh, it's a translation from Sakurai's article? Oh, that's awesome! Um... Yeah, so even though uh, Sora was highly requested, Sakurai thought it'd be very unlikely to get him into Smash. There's no doubt that the team involved with negotiations for Smash Bros. thought it was impossible as well. But one day the opportunity came through. Uh, at a certain award venue, Sakurai had a chance to meet with a Disney representative. They said it would be great if Sora got in. Probably because they knew how much money uh, they would have to charge Nintendo for, you know, the Mickey Mouse icon on the Keyblade. Um, but that meeting alone wouldn't be able to get Sora into Smash Bros. The higher-ups could feel differently if the talks fall apart. After long, careful discussions with Square, Nintendo, and Disney, the okay was finally given, and now Fighter Pass 2 has six fighters. Boomtown. So, yeah, interesting story. I, I, that, 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 that's something I didn't know in production. And I hope the chat now knows, too. so crazy to think about it's like <laughs> it's by chance yeah hey man life life is a, a, a beautiful amazing thing full of these random chance happenings that can completely determine something immense in, in the world or just in somebody's personal life or the lives of countless others it's 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 amazing but philosophy aside, we've got Isabel versus Fox, a battle of a, a cat-like creature versus a dog-like creature. And uh, it, this is B-Rice Felix too, which is more important in uh, winner's quarterfinals. Now, these two have an immense history at the um, AZSL finale. I believe it was B-Rice who eliminated Felix from the winner's side of bracket. Yeah, in, in, otherwise. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but but yeah, um, B Rice was Felix's bracket demon for a little bit while, a little bit of a while after that, and they've gone even since then. I think Felix might have a little bit of an edge on B Rice of late, but B Rice has been a constant threat to Felix, and there's something else to consider. Isabel got up this recent patch. I did see those bumps in, from. What B Rice has said personally, I, I talked to him a little bit about it, and he said the down smash buff is good. Like again, it just happened. Yeah, but I mean, that's, did you see that's that a angle? good buff. That angle was stupid. That was stupid. He said everything yeah. else. Four throw doesn't really matter because four throw has always been stupid and dumb. It doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, not great. And I think there was one more that also didn't really matter. But I, don't remember. I think it was like up smash yeah. does more damage. But goddamn, that up smash is gonna hit. Man, I'm very sock. surprised that was a sweet spot. This box doesn't care about the feelings or hitbox. Box has no regard for standard procedure. 
I'll just smash you right if I do that. It seems to work yeah. out at that 80%. Felix is gaming right now. He does a so good advantage. Fox is really good in advantage in general, and Felix is playing the perfect character to exploit that. Because Felix can take it from 20 to 80 in just a couple up airs. Wait, wait. I know Felix wants it. We all know what's happening. It's either up air or up smash. Yeah, but until it happens, Felix is content to just, you know, hold center, kind of give uh, B-Rice a little bit more stage, you know, be a little bit lackadaisical. Oh! And yeah, when when they strike, it's important. Problem is, uh, that, that whips. And if B-Rice can get some cheese going on here, he might be able to win. Looks like he's going to be out of that token plan. So he might just start spamming back there at the ledge. No. Nope. Oh, there's one. There's two. Can I get a third? Good boy. He doesn't want it. That Lloyd Rocket is so scary right there. That is such a good Lloyd Rocket placement. I too would be scared in that moment. Yeah, and, but the thing is, Felix doesn't need to approach. Yeah. Oh, try to get a roll. There. Damn. Yeah, there. No back air. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Here. If you jab the wrong way, it's yeah. You're I think you jab the shield, you just mash up smash events. anyways. God damn. I think yeah, I think this is the correct way to jab. I could be wrong though. Let's see. Yeah, one of the roll read. You jab the shield. Jab right there, yeah. You hit the shield. Yeah. That number two. We're going to battlefield. Interesting. Uh, huh, that, that is interesting, because I know how much B-Rus likes FD, but I'm sure Felix banned it, though. They probably know that fact. That is probably true, yeah. What's it that I'm guessing it was probably bans were Smash Bros. FD, my guess. I don't know. I can see oh. it, yeah. I, I, I'm with you there. As oh my god, a couple trades. As a zoner, b is, or not b Isabel is, y'all don't want to land next to her at all. Well, yeah. Low key, really good boxing options, but are really stupid. Yeah, fast ones that combo into each other, especially like that up tilt. Um, down smash is really fast. Nair is stupid too. Right, right. And the thing is, B Rice is, is a wicked aggressive, you know, getting your face kind of Isabel too. No, so, you know. Yeah, they use those boxing options really well. Up oh, but yeah, we're back in up. melee, boys. Melee! Whoa! Oh my gosh, dude, it's just that could have been huge. Here I dropped the call on that one. I don't want to sound like you know, like yeah, you know, yeah. Well, you do it then, but you know, like, like I think they might have been hit stunned from something that that Felix did, but that was like a, a side B uh, into like the up throw variant that would have killed. Whatever bullshit this character does. Yeah, well, Isabelle's got a lot of it. Forward air. I'm very surprised at how good Felix's recovery routes have been today. They, Vigarice has not been able to exploit them at all. He's been grinding, man. That's all I can say. He's been on the grind. I know Felix has been disappointed in their uh, placements over the past couple of weeks. And, um... You know, today, today is this their day. I, I, I'm seeing a level of polish and focus that I haven't seen from Felix in a hot minute. Maybe they're trying to get in a mental, uh, a, a good rhythm for uh, Ascension this weekend. They, I'm sure they want to show out. But man, they've been, they've been really, you know, having a rough go of it lately. And, you know, B-Rice looking to capitalize, but Felix is at such a commanding lead right now. I, I don't know how much good... Ah, uh, that jab F tilt thing. Felix just looks solid, I mean, intense. That's what I should say. Felix looks intense. Right now. Yeah, Felix doing you know a lot more of patient play than we're used to from them as, as well. Honestly, just kind of you know throw, throwing out options when you're an advantage, when you're in neutral, not overextending or or playing too aggressively. Felix just really wants to win right now. Uh oh, I think B Rice does too. But so does B Rice. Beerus with an amazing uh, little combo string off of the uh, no tech situation led to a couple of interesting interactions that kept oh. Felix locked for a little bit. That was good for about 60%. Felix getting a little hasty right now. Yeah, the tempo's definitely shifted a little bit. 
Yeah, I think he got that one time. He's like, oh shit, I gotta end this now. I don't want that happen to me again. Yeah. Oh. Felix is, I, I've been setting the entire tempo of the set. And uh, yeah, there's the up smash to prove it. Here is falling into Felix's in rhythm. And it was a trap, baby. Damn, he made that look clean, easy, he played it super calm, played the magic correctly. It's very refreshing to see just calm gameplay. Yeah, um, no, Felix is in an excellent headspace tonight. Frost? Oh Whoa! That's huge! Okay, so not only did Frost beat Kira Flax, Frost no, beat he didn't beat Rob. He would have had to fight Kira Flax and loses if he lost. That's the thing. That was what, what our bet was going to be on, yeah. What? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I don't know they didn't no, play. Oh no, he did play Kira. Was my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Do you not remember the wager that I almost yeah. accepted? I saw it. It was a different bracket when they showed projected. It said they were playing in Dude, I, I, I'm very glad I had the wherewithal to be like, yeah, that's a bad matchup. If you'd given me odds, though, I probably would have taken that. <laughs> but anyway, so that that sets up um, our top eight winner side. It's gonna be Schroeder, Ame, and Acetil. Acetil fresh off of a victory against his brother Rensley. Schroeder, Ame not dropping a match all night. And uh, on the other side, it's gonna be Frost versus Felix. Frost upsetting the number two seed tonight. I know Frost is super happy about that. He took a, he was like a Ramsey's lesson, and it was really more just to figure out how to beat Krupp, because he's kind of been losing to him a lot. So I know I he's, super, he's super happy about that right now. That's got to be huge for him. Yeah, I, well, I, hey, man, the, the work outside has paid off a little bit. All right, but we are moving on. We got... CM Schroeder Ame versus Acetil. Yep, Schroeder Ame, the face that's been running the place for a good couple of months. Years almost, even, I would say. Um, Schroeder, former PGR player, one of the best players in the world. And they're not even playing their main tonight. So, you know, that, that's indicative of, of a couple things going forward. The thing is, this is one of the Krupp brothers, this is Acetil, and, uh, I'd probably like say, if you have my vote, the best Richter in the state. And right now, they are proving it. After getting beat down for a little bit of that first stock, they're able to bring it back. Take that stock within a couple seconds. Yeah, that bear hit him so far away on center stage. That was kind of bullshit. Oh my god, Jai B! Ooh! Bro, the Jai B broke it. Tonight, he ever regularly played his main. He never regularly plays his main. I don't even think he has a main right now. Honestly, yeah, I, I think he kind of is uh, trying to move away from the brand a little bit. That's all he does is shit talk to him. It's really funny. It, it's kind of funny. It is pretty kind of funny. funny. <laughs> when when Mars does it, it's a little annoying. But when but when Schroeder does it, I get it. It's kind like, of funny. It's it's not even like he sh like Mars is different because he'll keep playing the DSA. But it sounds like Schroeder genuinely hates Greninja. And the only I, reason I, he plays him is because Greninja made him who he is. True. I will say, uh, if you've heard of Adamus, the uh, DDD who uh, was able to make it to to Summit this year, um, I was almost an insane combo if I asked him wasn't so smart to avoid that. But I think I think he he hates DDD too. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. No There's... holds back from Schroeder. Schroeder! Checkmate Schroeder, I forgot to mention, recently Checkmate. sponsored yeah, by uh, Checkmate Esports. Uh, this was insane. So he gets one hit and he kills him off of it. Uh, Roy broke it. He Look does, at that. Yeah. Oh my god, no like the wave bounce side beat? Richter. Waits for it. Reacts. Yeah, the the grab, throw. Reads the tech back. The Jai B again. Gets him off stage and then it's like, I'm gonna go deep. And he made it back of here. too. He got to be. He got I to know, go I'd punish see. that and make it back. Roy is top five. Three, I am convinced. Two, one, Almost like Schroeder's uh, former top twenty player or top thirty player. I think they were top thirty, right? Uh. Let me look it up. Yeah, twenty fifth. I I know they're like in the middle of the twenties. I think like twenty. 
I I I want to say like. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'll I'll pull it up. Chat. I know it's PTRB My boy it's PTRB already. More, I think, right? Uh yes. Okay. Um. Oh wait, I'm in Smash. Why am I in Smash Four? <laughs> wait, what's going on? PGRU. PGRU. Oh, yep, that's right. Thank you. How's the match going? Uh, it's still one to one, but Ash still has a massive percentage. Alright, that's fine. Um, PGRU. We he just died beating him. Stroder was 29. You're correct. He died beating him. Yeah. We love to see Jai Wait, Jai wait. Jai wait a Jai second. Jai Jen was area 51? I almost beat Jen in bracket. Damn, you're cracked, man. I guess so. Oh my god, he just killed him again. No fucking way. He's insane. Oh my god, dude. It's Schroeder. You, you can't stop this man once he gets going. It is crazy. Oh my god, no. Let this man breathe, I say! I would. Just tries to end him with side B real quick. Hold on. Yeah. Let's make this match done quickly. Uh, Askill's trying to grasp for straws here, but... I mean, he's got a nice little string there for having Schroeder at 60, but... Schroeder is just immune to lead trapping. Um, he's getting caught out of the air a little bit right now, but in general, he's able to punish back quite quickly afterwards. Look at him, he caught, he jumped up and caught the, uh, holy water off shield. He doesn't that have was a, a yeah, sour spot. Yeah, he doesn't have a yeah. jump. It doesn't matter, sour spot or not. That's still going back to the same stage. Jesus Christ, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that, that's just insane. This is what, dude, whenever it's pre-tournament Schroeder, he reaches a level of zen that I really can't describe, where everything just clicks. And then when he's at the actual event, he doesn't do so well sometimes. Very cool. I think he's. I think he wants to win a cent. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Horus here. It's time. Let's see, let's see what a top player does with this character. Now, I know that Sora has had a uh, like Nair Luke esque combo. He's got Oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, is he dead? No, he's not. I forgot, you could side me out of upbeat for some reason. Sora up air was super Sora up air is really strong, actually. Yeah. He does a lot of damage. Yeah, and it kills too. He's doing something. It does, yeah. Right His upbeat is like Lynx, but on crack. Honestly, yeah. It's insane. Okay, but dash attack though? That hashtag is dumb. Eh. It doesn't kill, but it's really strong. It's a lot of damage. It's, it's, I think it's safe too. It's fast. Cross up. I, I wouldn't. Be... Yeah, it, it does. does cross there, up. There's our <laughs> <laughs> Thank yep, you, Stroder. Yep. Thank you, Stroder. It's almost like he could hear us right now. Good order, X smash on that tag. I left that out. I still uh, in advantage right now. Yep, gets that stock. Finally, having himself a stock in for the first time of the of the set. I always forgot. I remember talking to Sugar about Sora being he's like he's such a big Kingdom Hearts fan. Like his family is too. So oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he's super pumped to have this character. He wants to play Sora Ascension like the entire time. Ah, uh, that's a that's a bold move from uh, from him. I think. Uh, if anyone could do it, I think it is Schroeder. But yikes! Uh, good luck with that, man. This character because, feels very weird to play, but he's gaming right now. Because, yeah, he's very unique, I will say. Like, I don't think he's he's broken like a lot of the other um, DLC characters are speculated to be, but he is unique enough that he might pose a threat for a lot of people as more tactic gets discovered. I think he's so good. I don't know if he's, you know, top five, but from right now, from what I've seen, he, he could be very broken. I do Under appreciate how much um, Schroeder so is going for like all of the magic. He's cy cycling between them very much, uh, very discriminatingly. 
Magic is like actually good. Like everyone was saying, oh, only eh, one spell's gonna be no. good. I think, I think they all have their. Freeze. Freeze. And the I mean, freeze is low key broken. But like, oh yeah, no, no, Bl Blizzaga is actually kind of good if it, if it hits. Thundaga's whatever. Um, I think, I think Paragas kind of sucks. Paragas, I think, is the worst one. Oh, easily. It, it, it like doesn't do anything. But uh, Astil taking the stock back. Astil does have a lead right now. Or excuse me, they're. Um, he's camping him. He's camping him. He doesn't have a lead right now. Okay, now he does. I called it ahead of time, but I was wrong when it did say. But yeah, there's the there's the combo tree coming out. Using the Blazaga to beat out the holy water. There's a pivot boost to Astil to clear the landing zone a little bit for Astil. Astil doing a good job of pinning Schroeder in the corner. But returning cross is going to hit uh, Schroeder, though. So, interesting property about that counter. It doesn't reflect projectiles, but it it stops them and makes them um, throw as projectiles still. But Astil doing a good job of holding down this ledge. No matter what happens, that was so Thor's good. Get back. Yeah, but he's gonna go under the stage with the Thundaga. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Schroeder not gonna fall for the. Oh my God, that was a pixel away from hitting. Whenever you see those little orange sparks that come out, that that's and, and there's no damage that comes out. That that's kind of like this game's version of phantoming. But the Blizzaga not gonna kill. Then the upper after that, but a nice nice frame trap to catch that air dodge from Schroeder. Schroeder. I think it's so kind of natural. And we're going to be going to winner's finals is Stroder. Acetil, great run, though. Um, furthest winner's side Krupp brother tonight. Oh, man, that little but, kid. But, um, so <laughs> that little kid. I will. <laughs> this little yeah. guy. This little man. This little freaking dummy. He's so happy. What, Sora? Yeah. Dog, Sora's uh, like 16, 17 canonically. I, I don't know. That's I know, funny. I know. His he's like he's like 12, I think, in his first form, and then like in his last one, he's 16, somewhere in that range, I think. Anyway, ooh, this anyway. is exciting. I like this matchup. This is fun to watch. Yeah, I got I got an interesting. I got an interesting tidbit here. It's going to be um, in loser's bracket right now. Krupp and Arconi are playing. Uh, and B-Rice and Widget are playing. The winners of both of those will play each other. And the winner of that will have to play against Acetil. So this means we might be getting a, a Krupp brother family reunion in loser's quarters. If Krupp can beat not only Arconi, but also the winner of B-Rice and Widget. Oh, Kiraflex is also playing Renslay right now for anyone who's curious. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Kira's in, uh, he's one match away from qualifying for top eight. Man, NC's had himself a bad day. Lost to B Rice in round two after beating, um, Aquila. That, uh, B Rice is kind of his bracket team. I'm pretty sure he's lost to B Rice every time they play. Well, I, I can imagine, because I feel like, uh, Isabel kind of shuts down a lot of options yeah. from, well, yeah, not only Cannonball, but she also, she also could pocket, um, Mecha Koopa and just get rid of it from the battlefield as well. You can find another one if you pocket so. Yes. You can shoot another Cannonball, yeah. You can shoot out another Cannonball, you can summon another Mecha, you can. No, he can't. Yes, he can. He can? I promise. Yeah, I've seen it happen. He can. I don't know if I believe you. I will put money on it. Sure. Oh, you, want, you sure? No. I'll ask Richard right now. I will ask him. Don't do it. You won't. Uh, no, I'm asking him anyways. Two, one, Who's go. Richard? He's NC. That's his real name. I'm asking. A hundred dollars. <laughs> Jinx, what's wrong with me? You crazy man. Anyway, so I didn't mean to cut you off earlier, um, Fusky, but this is Felix Frost. You did say you liked these two. Um, 
This is a rivalry, 100%. And I. We grind together a lot, these two. I'm with them a lot. Uh, Richard NC's there a lot. And... So these two. Pretty much ever since the start of the new season, since we came back from with a time skip, uh, they, they've huh? been grinding together. So. It's always fun to watch oh. them play. It's kind of like a corrupt brother relationship. They're always gonna be. It's gonna be a heated match. Yeah. No, nothing stings more than losing to your homie, though. Yeah, exactly. Like, you can lose to your rival. It's like okay, whatever. It's supposed to happen. When you lose to your homie, that hurts. Yeah. Speaking from experience. Woo. But, uh, from Frost's own words, he hates this matchup. It feels impossible for him to get a hit on Fox. I feel like that's just playing Tom. Yeah, it feels very hard to get a hit. Even with the I think it's a little rough. And Felix is so so darn elusive, running all over the damn place. He gets an illusion kill into uh into up air. And yeah, the combos just keep going again. Part of me also thinks Felix might be a little mad, because I know he wanted to play Krupp again. Or at least he probably wanted really? to play Krupp. Yeah. That's right, because um, Krupp's had Felix's number for quite a while. Yeah, I think it's the biggest, uh, like the worst record in AZ before he did that smash that he put oh. out. But that Nair up smash is going to take game one super quickly. God damn, what was that, a minute? Gorgeous. It felt and like you know, a minute. Hey, long. We haven't talked about this yet, but do you think Felix might be feeling um, a little bit, I guess, uh, inspired by the fact that Light won SmashCon? Oh, 100%. 100%. I was on his Twitter. I talked to him yesterday about it, and he was... He cried when he won. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. And so he's super motivated, and, and he's like, yeah, this character's fucking broken now. You got a little good. motivation to come back. So he's definitely playing Fox again. He's not. He had a before that. He was definitely going through a little main crisis. He wasn't sure. He's was like, play Sephiroth, play Joker, and play. Yeah, Wolf. Min Min and at some point. He wasn't confident with the Fox, but after yeah, after the win, I think he's he got a big ego boost. He's like, ah shit, this character's fucking broken. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta stick to your buns. Buns? Guns. Excuse me. <laughs> I misspoke. Sometimes you just gotta stick to your guns, um, you know, stick with what works. You can always grow and develop, yeah, sure, but, um, you know, don't ever think that something that you have control over isn't working, because you can always make it work. I'm waiting for Aha! the Bowser Jr. main. I'm waiting for the Bowser Jr. main to mess with me. Yeah. I should I should have taken your I should have taken your money this time. Yeah, I didn't have oh. oh yeah. Okay. You take those. You take those. It's even. Kirby Swarm in chat. Sometimes you gotta man up and accept your top three privilege. I would not say that is the reason that <laughs> Felix is not feeling Fox. But I I do appreciate your suggestion. But no, it's a little bit deeper than that. Everyone goes through a main crisis. Happens. No matter how yeah. broken your character is. Yeah, I have. I love Samus. Oh my again, god! This time it's not gonna trade. It's just gonna be a straight kill from Frost. Felix is really going deep to try to get these shine spikes. Uh, shine spikes. Trying to oh, that's God, Jinx, I can't come to Ascension. I'd love to, but I can't. I, I would love to be down there. I, I would, but I just can't travel uh, after, you know, my trip to Canada. I kind of milk my entire bank account. Okay, I, Felix. Yeah. There we go. There, Edgeguard is from one Finally, one. the Edgeguard goes Felix's way. I always want to say how funny it is that Krom sucks, but... Man, where would Frost be if that upbeat cheese did not exist? McDonald's. Honestly! Honestly spitting right now! I'm kidding, I want Frost. <laughs> I do too, but... <laughs> that upbeat is a... Uh... Oh no! Oh my god, if it happened again! He should have pulled away, I think. 
Does, does Krom still kill first? Uh, I think it will kill Fox first, because Fox is such a fast ball. Yeah. Right, okay, that's fair. Uh-oh. Good reaction to the that play. Was a, that was a, that was a, a Ja air. Uh, a jab that, that wait for oh. tech air. That wasn't, that wasn't just a strict, uh, a jab, jab back air. It was a, it was like a jab, wait for it, and then, then back air. The jar. Jar. I don't even know. I'm not even going to attempt to say it. The yard! So ah. Hit him with the yard! We just killed him. Oh, he's not any. Hit him with the yard, eh? Frost would high peaky, high key be at McDonald's, not gonna lie. Thank you, Jinx, for confirming our suspicions. Nah, actually, he'd work, he'd work somewhere cool. Like, no, it is. Um, to be fair, it's funny because Frost actually doesn't have a job and he gets 16. And we always make fun that's, of him. Because that's, that's the only that's reason really he gets funny. paid, is he gets paid for playing this game. Because he wins. That's really. Hey, man, if, if, if uh, I was as good at the game as he is, when I was 16, I'd be doing this all the live long day. Hell yeah. You guys dude. believe it. My first job sucked. My first job was actually good. I was an elf. This I'm sorry? I was an elf. <laughs> Worked for Sam, good man. Actually, you know, it's really funny you should say that. My, my, my good friend back home is uh, playing Buddy the Elf and Elf the Musical for like a regional theater company. Really? He's getting paid a good amount of money, I think, for it, too. Damn, okay. That man's gonna make Broadway someday. I'm, I'm telling you. Tell you what. That'd be really cool. It would be. It would be. I I I I'm gonna schmooze. Uh, at any time oh. he has a house party. Uh oh. Oh my god. Wow. That was a couple really good things from both players. Uh, but no no cheese was to be had from Frost. Oh my god. They're both trying line. to guard each other. Uh oh. Really? Okay, I thought that would beat the super armor eventually. I know Fire Fox I, I guess not. Strong. Jack yeah. here. Step one layer, drop Samus, play zero skill Samus. No, why would I play zero Samus? Because she's broken, apparently. I know she's good. I know she's a top five character, but you think top five? Damn. I I I, I can't I can't find out Nerf. I don't know how Nerf lift works. I've been trying. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Yeah. I yeah, production. I know. <laughs> We've all seen it happen. It's just like flip kicks. Yeah, janky. You, you gotta put the pieces together sometimes. So Felix is playing kind of methodically right now, just you know, <laughs> moving around, getting the lasers in where they can, not overextending too much. Frost is uh, you know, playing their usual defensive style. I don't know what's funny here. Frost is down tilting, or you just trying to overshadow production on how to play zero suit. Dude, I'm not interested. <laughs> I can I'll tell. I'll be Samus Man until the day I die. Respect, honestly. If you don't love your character, then uh, you're not. You don't deserve to play this game. I don't care what you say. That's what I'm saying. He dies. Just kill him. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's he? Oh, get him. Yes. Because it was Frost. Oh, dude, oh. my favorite song just came Spotify. A frost! Uh oh! My god, the defense from Felix there was quite nice. Uh oh, you might die. No, nope. doesn't want to risk it. No more cheese. I, I respect it. It is last thought. You, you, you can't exactly throw this one away. Now Jinx is telling us how to play Zero Suit. Thank you, Jinx. Very cool. Oh! That really tech. Or throw no tech back air. Why did that? Was that a bad tech game? situation? Oh, no, I, I, I guess I, I'm like. The Going to the it looked like forward throw. I mean, I'm guessing it was. What else was it? Unless it was like a jab. Might have been a back throw. I don't. I think it was a forward throw though. Oh, it was yeah, definitely forward throw. Yep. Man, he held straight in on that forward throw. That was. He held up and in on that forward throw. I've never seen it. That was. That, high that was weird, man. Uh oh. Uh oh, game time. Uh, karma. Yeah. Okay. You know how much Felix likes karma. Here we go. This song does, is kind of raw. Oh, it's very good. Mended after a bear, what do we call that? Bear? Three, two, one, go! Bear? Uh, oh god, wait, hang on, hang on. Faux bear. 
I don't know. <laughs> you put me on spot. I, I, can't, I can't come up with a gem. Forward bear. I'll end you. Uh, interesting to see. Fa oh! Back air! It's back air. There we go. You just say fuck you already, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's back air, I think. It's, it's saying the effort, but with a New York accent. <laughs> On a cracker! <laughs> oh, I love you, Tri State, but my god, get better. Honestly. Get another edge guard? I was looking for it. Felix almost got something there. I was a little hesitant with the stage pick, but I didn't feel like that one edge guard. Catch the oh, air dodge! Almost gorgeous. That, not gonna kill, though. That does have to survive that. Uh oh! I'm not gonna get the illusion into up air. That probably would have been the stock. This is the main Jinx, have you never heard this? That was amazing. Good reaction to the roll with that F kill. Yeah. <laughs> she goes to shut up. I love Felix. Oh my god. <laughs> I love Felix. I so love oh, he had the roll ring too. Gets the forward throw. Frost still alive though. 153. Never mind, he's got nared. Did you see him like slap his hand? I did. In the player cam. Hang on, wait a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna look on the uh, on the stream to see that again. <laughs> wait, wait. Ooh, oh no, like sorry. That. He was just he was just wiping his face off. I thought he was angry. I like the uh, punch the up. Yeah, Felix. All right, Felix is in a rhythm right now, and uh, yeah, you, you gotta harsh that mellow a little bit. Yeah. Game time. If that was last stock, it would have been. It would have been. It's a spawn. Returning to base. But it, dude. Game five, or uh, yeah, game five, gamer time. I thought this is where men pick. become. <laughs> I thought the battle men... was gonna be a little, little shaky because I know Chrom kind of sucks on this day. He's like his best. But all you need to do is edge guard Krom, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Krom sucks. Oh, what's the counter pick? Yep. Pick your, pick oh. your song. He's gonna. There it is. Bracket update for you guys. Widget beat B Rice 2 to 1, but then got 2 up by Captain Krupp in top 8. Captain Krupp and Acetil are now playing in losers' quarters. Ooh. And Rensley beat Kira Flax in losers. And they're currently playing against One, NC. That'd be interesting. I don't hear anyone's that. That's a top eight. And so PS2, Frost's favorite stage by a country mile. It's a great stage, I man. I think they like the stage. I think they like the stage more than they even like um, Town and City, which is the best Crom Roy stage in the game. Oh, I would agree. 100 percent I would too. But again, I know Felix likes the stage a little bit too because you can get those up airs really nicely. Felix doesn't like this stage. I do know that. The only reason is because he plays on it a fuck ton. Doesn't matter how good yeah. the stage is, he just doesn't like playing it all the time. Yeah, I mean, uh, even if you hate the stage, you, you do get used to it. Oh my god! That, that, was, a, that was a raw situation. Can he make that? He can. Back here. Is he dead? He is! Frost, he and he makes it back, too! Excellent edge guard from Frost. Frost looks so shitty going for that edge guard. He's like, doing shit. Like, I, I just I... did that. I just did that. Oh my I, god. Guys, I edge guarded with Krom the fucking way. <laughs> He's probably, he probably like looked around and be like, hey, is anyone watching? No? Oh. Guys, I went off stage with Krom and lived! I lived! No I way! I killed Fox! Well, we are in for a fox hunt as that jab is trade with the illusion. I was about to lose it right there, that was so bad. I've never seen that one before. Frost getting a non jr kill? True. Honestly, yeah. It's gonna Quick, snow in hell. <laughs> Frost doing something creative. For once. <laughs> I don't know why we started the Frost Lander, but I'm not gonna stop, it's kinda funny. It is funny, it's funny that it's messing around with this kid. He's oh, dead, yeah. right? Uh oh. Uh oh! Counter! Can he make that? He can't! Frost up two stocks to one! Frost is Three stocks to one. That's insane. 
Yeah, he's going. He, he's not scared to go off stage right now. That's insane. Another non character I know. Frost is edge guarding. Crazy. Frost learned how to edge guard in the time that we've been away. That's that's gnarly. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, the Rancid's coaching session helped out a little bit. It didn't just help him beat Crop, it helped him play the video game better. Hold up, maybe this guy's not a one trick. Say that now. He literally almost won a game <laughs> just because of upbeat. That's, you know, fair, but I don't know. I like this guy. He's, he's, he's just up uh, sense. How do you like this gameplay? <laughs> if it works, it works, man. Uh oh. Oh, dude, bad guy. Yeah, I... that, that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. Alright. Ooh, last song. Yep, last song, game five. Winner takes he all. Jack here. Pressing jab. Oh. He lived. Good. And all Felix needs to do is cheese it. But that's yeah, easier said than done, considering how consistent that sword from oh, Frost is. Oh, Frost is off no. Oh, I don't know. Oh, he gets over. He's back. Okay, he has got center on him. Woo! Uh oh. Illusion? Felix is uh is playing a little bit ballsy right now for being at 142% against Krom. Forward air is not gonna kill. He's mashing, he's scared, he, he's, he's peeing oh. his pants right now. Uh-oh! Oh, I thought that was it! Okay, yeah, dude, Frost is so scared of being in the corner, he's like just jumping right now. Oh. And Felix is eventually gonna have a read on oh. there. Oh, oh, drag down! No, but he got saved! Counter! He's oh, dead! Oh my god. Oh, dude, he had the track though, but he got the last bit. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What the hell just happened, dude? That was... That was a nail biter right at the end there. Look at that in there. Oh, he all got the track down, but... Not the full... You see Felix, the player, kept shaking his head. He got countered. Leans back. Yeah, dude, what are you going to do about that? That's, that's so unfortunate. That was a really good set, though. Both those guys played that about as well as they could have. He up Frost got an upgrade. He learned how to edge guard. <laughs> yeah, he got a bonus. Honestly. <laughs> Shoutouts to Ramsey for uh, making our little man into a little killer. Oh, he God. is going into top eight. Excuse me, top three. He's already been in top eight. That was a good set. I really enjoyed watching that set. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll do some quick updates. So we are going to see Shredder Frost on stream soon. Um, yes, sir. The classic. Um, and NC now, beating Renslay 2-1. to one? Schroeder has personally told me he never tries versus Frost. Oh, yeah. I, I've seen and it. <laughs> he always wins, too. You've heard that from both of them? I haven't heard that from Frost. Granted, I don't speak with Frost that often. So, you know, my word isn't necessarily law in this situation. Necessarily. Let's 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 be clear. I think there was one time. To me, chat. I think there was one time I saw it. Okay. Sounds good, production. Tell your story, Fusky. I was um there was only one time that I've seen Shredder try, and that was, I think that was before Reach, Smash Reach. And that was when he was playing Greninja again for once. But anyways, uh, the stream looking a little colorish right now. I don't know what's going on here. Does anyone else see that? Thank God you brought the color because yeah. I've got, I have just a white background, a little bit of wood here. Um, I'm looking to go back to the back to the the nursery room, but uh, it's been hard booking it lately. But let's talk about something kind of important. This weekend, October 23rd, baby, Ascension's coming to town in downtown Phoenix, Arizona, the biggest regional in the Southwest. All comers are taken and actually selected already because the event is capped. You can't sign up now. Sorry, sucks to be you if you didn't get in on that train. Um, but I will say that it's going to be streamed right here on SAK Gaming TV on our Twitch. So you're not going to miss any of the action, even if you can't make it to the event, which I can't. I'm going to be tuning in from home. You can do the same, but oh, you've sad. got all comers. 
You've got Vegas. You've got Utah, Texas, SoCal, Arizona, some other places. It's the biggest regional in the Southwest. You don't want to miss it. So don't miss it. Tune in on Saturday, October 23rd. It's going to be a whole day event. And uh, it's going to be also sick. There be we there. go. There's the graphic. Your boy Fusky is also going to be there commentating and playing. Yeah, Fusky's going to be there. So go give him a kiss and a hug yes, if sir. Uh, you want to. Doing the Fusky doubles. I'm going to be commentating with your boy Toad. I think I need the OG AZ. We'll know who that man is. He's a he's a funny man. I'll give him that. His Shout Twitter is the funniest thing I've ever seen. I'm not going to lie. He's very funny. But I will be playing also in dubs with your boy Passion. I haven't seen him in a while, but... Nice. Oh, I love Passion. We're going to be playing in doubles. And I'm also got a little bit of a singles bracket coming up. But I'm super excited. Love Passion. It's... Jinx, you, I've been saying I'm not going for weeks, dude. Get Jinx. with it. I would Just love that. to go. I would, but I, I can't. We do Life's not Passion. Passion is an orphan, yes. He plays to be. Does that contact no. being an orphan? <laughs> no, it's just a joke. Okay, cool. What was say? <laughs> we don't like Steve. <laughs> Steve Dude, I, Harry, Harry Potter is the best Enderman in Britain. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, oh he's my an god. Yeah, yeah. If you play Steve, your parents have a 50% uh, higher chance of dying. And just sending you to Hogwarts, I guess, too. That's our running joke. It is. He is our he is our hated orphan player. Just up tilts out of nowhere and wins. Damn. Arizona hates orphans. You hate to see it. Honestly, yeah. I don't actually I don't think I've ever met an orphan, now that I think about it. I met passion. Interesting. But like actual orphans. Not actual the, orphans. Not, Fusky, I do you have know. parents? I do have parents. Damn. Right. <laughs> what do you mean, damn? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Production, do you have parents? Damn. damn. That's it. Production has parents. <laughs> let, let me know in the chat if you don't have parents. <laughs> Find out all the orphans. Yeah, yeah. Here are all my orphans in chat. You hunt them out here. Hunt them down. <laughs> oh. My, uh, my, speaking of parents, my dad's gonna go to Blizzard. That's actually fun. I love my Krom Sora. So, uh, this is, this is winner's finals, even though it might not look like it. Uh, it's gonna be Schroeder versus Frost, and we have the Sora coming out, but that doesn't matter. Frost is gonna go lightning fast into 32%. Wow. But it doesn't matter. Schroeder swings right back for a good 56 on an answer. This is gonna be a dynamite set, I think. I'm interested to see what happens, because, uh... Obviously, Schroeder kind of has Frost number. I don't think Frost is taking a single set, but that, I expect that to happen. Really yeah, very exclusive club for the players who have taken sets away from Schroeder on me. Um, especially in the time skip. Oh my god, yeah, he's dead. Nope, he what? Is. He's not! Oh, broken? That's... That's gnarly. Yeah, Crump's recovery actually kind of good. Um, anyway, real quick, Crump and Acetil are still playing in losers' quarters, and um, Felix is now playing NC, who 2 1 Rensley. Um, and Felix and NC is a rematch from a couple weeks ago, actually last week, where NC ended up winning in uh, Grand Finals. Yes, sir. He almost lost that. <laughs> I didn't feel like he's meaning in that second set. He's like, alright, I'm gonna go hero now. Wait! Did Thundaga kill? Yeah, that move does kill. I guess, yeah, I guess ba bad DI from Frost, I, I think. He probably held in a little bit. He might have held in. Yeah. I know it kills, but like, I didn't expect it, it to kill like... Like, like that. that. Yeah. Thunder! Thunder! So annoying. Thunder! It's more annoying than Robin. Honestly, Thunder. yeah. Thunder! Yeah, it's not some fucking catch. kid. Oh! <laughs> I thought I'm, he was I'm like... Surprised. Sorry, guys. I thought he was like, he should have died. Back off! Back off! I'm kind of, um... 
I'm surprised how little side B's used as an actual attack. But I get it. Honestly. It's not like it, it kills. It does like an extra, what, like 15% if all three hits connect? Yeah. It's not amazing. It's not the Bayonetta side B of old. Oh, he's getting But moves. like four. It yeah, did Ford Air Nair is, uh, I think, I don't know how true it is, but I know it's going to be a big thing later on. But there's a runoff Ford Air for Frost. Finally taking the first stock from uh, Mr. Checkmate, Schroeder. Oh. Frost definitely looks like he's trying to There's that counter. This might be it for Frost here. Oh, that thunder just ended him. Really? You got the dash tag down nice far. Nice air dodge. Yeah, it didn't two frame. Have you seen Sora's Crawl, by the way? I have. It's uh, yeah. really cursed. That it's crawl It's really is, funny. It's cursed. Yes. Yes. This little twerp. This little guy. This fun man. Mm. I don't know. So I see that I wanted to chat has it. no orphans in it. I wanted to see if Sora's dash tag is a similar thing to um, Mario's dash tag. Where you can slide it in two frames. It looks like it does, but I don't know if it actually. I, I think does it does it. too. I think uh, Mario's One, just a little stronger. Go! Production gotta be streaming Shredder playing Sora. <laughs> Why? Sure I think they were. Uh, Sora's banned. Who cares? People wanna play the character. Hey, hey, they did say you could gentleman to it. That was an announcement earlier, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's for Ascension? Oh, interesting. I don't think anyone cares that much. Yeah, I don't care. It's true. Right. Yay! So, I mean, the, the Roy switch is coming out from Frost, which is something I didn't I neglected to talk about. Probably favoring uh, better early kill power. And Frost can wield both these characters quite effectively. Um, I just problem, think he doesn't want to get countered, dude. He doesn't want to die on stage. <laughs> yeah, honestly. That's what I keep telling him. Just like, dude. The, the thing I always tell him, I think I've said this multiple times. Uh, you guys remember Smash Reach, you played Ben. Best old in the world. He died every time he went off stage because Tommy Cover was still bad. Like, bro, you would have wanted to do it because it still went to last time last stage. That's still gonna happen. That's still gonna happen. Not saying it won't, but. It, it just, you know, it tends to do that from time to time, you know? I think Roy's definitely gonna have an easier time getting back to stage. Now it's not such a game of recovery. And, and killing, honestly. Very true. Considering how light and floaty uh, Sora is, it's easy to combo. Loving that magic. I do like the four oh, yeah. air stuff. The four air stuff is cool. Or the, no, it's Nair. Never mind. It's not four air. It's Nair. Well, it, it's both of them. They they work together. That was Nair. I'm pretty sure that was Nair. Maybe. It's one or the other. You I mean, look, they look similar as hell. It, they, they, they both, they both, again, they work together. I, I, I mean, there's the one where he like swings it like. Oh my god! Oh my god! Like, is oh, he dead? Holy shit! That's crazy. Yes. <laughs> wow. wow! Oh my god! First kills from there. I gotta see this again. This is insane. Yeah, that was. Kinda of gnarly from uh, Schroeder Ame. That was uh, that was that was checkmate. Oh. Yeah, caught him up up without air. a jump up air. Catches him with the back air. Counters that. Goes deep for it. Uh, uh, uh. Two, oh my god. Go. Good night, Sal. And the Krom's coming back. The Rob is doing good, dude. How'd you do that? What's yep. up? Gotta trust in your main man. I always say the main man is back. Karam! Thunder! Thunder! Okay, we'll get back to stage. Noise. I'll admit, the voice acting is really goofy, but it's fine. Fun. I think it fits and, the character. You know, 
Right, it does its job. What? Oh, I don't know. Makes sense, I suppose. Still funny how Sora is a good guy, but not about it. Yeah, so well. <laughs> true. But there's no Mickey Mouse. Where is he? Where is Mickey? That up smash oh, squeaks, Mickey, man. You're so fine, you're so fine with no more money. Thunder, back off. Take this. Oh, true. Well, I don't know if it sounded good enough to be a DMCA. Nah, bro, you gotta believe in yourself. Come on, man. Well, I do. I know I'm a good singer, but, like, I don't know if that necessarily was, you know, at that level. Ooh. I'll do it with you, Ray. Oh, dude, I would... Yeah, okay, production. You fly me out first. <laughs> You want my talents, you gotta pay for it. Yeah, yeah. You, you want me to come commentate, I'll do it in a heart. You want me to sing, you need you need cover flight. Just say it. I'm kidding, Great. I'm Great Greyhound bus, I'm down. We'll meet in the middle. Yeah, I will I'll, I'll start practicing now in production. Just start singing on stream in the middle of the set. Yeah, it's a it's a little outside of my range, but I'll try and, and adjust accordingly. Take this. I'm a little tone deaf, but we'll we'll figure it out. Speaking of tone deaf, Frost trying to push too much aggression, uh, but it's not necessarily working for him. Oh my god, yeah. You see what I mean? Oh my god. I keep seeing that up air, up beast it, and I swear it doesn't feel real. It, yeah, it doesn't look real. It doesn't look real at all. It's right. It's, it's dude. It's cracked way open. It says it's right here. Catches it. Like that doesn't look real. That doesn't look true. <laughs> it doesn't. It just doesn't. What a weird character. I'm glad Shoto's having fun with him though. Honestly, Maybe I guess you could say he's kind of goofy. Oh my god. Go home, Lair. You're drunk. I wish I was. Drunk's more fun. I'll, take, I'll go take a shot right now. I can't. I'm not of legal age yet. I wish I could too. Mm. Bad joke. Go home. Yeah. That was a that was a really bad shot to come back on, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's brisk. Go See? home, Larry. Go home. Bad joke. <laughs> Don't wanna hear it again. Get him off the mic. Yeah. You wish you could. Just, just mute him with the Discord and the program anyway. That's fine. I don't want to hear you so much either. Damn. Now I just feel bad. Don't insult me then! <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, sorry! Man. So, uh, Krupp 3 1 over Acetyl in Losers Quarters. Ooh, Radeon. So, Felix NC. Felix NC. I wonder who Felix is playing against NC, because I know the last time they were playing, he went Fox, and then he went Pikachu, and Pikachu was kind of just overpowering it. Like, it wasn't even close. Like, NC literally just couldn't do anything. Yeah, maybe, honestly. Maybe, maybe he's playing Hero, maybe, maybe he's sticking with the Fox. Maybe, here. perhapsing, perhapsing. Or maybe know, Wolf. I, I, know. I just finished? Who, who, how, how'd it go? Production. Oh, thank you. Felix won! Good for Felix. Let's go. So this is the this is the match I know Felix even wanted to play. Cap he's gonna get it anyways. Felix Captain Krupp coming up Captain next. Captain Krupp, baby. Then we got a few heat uh, matches. The one you've all been waiting for. We got Felix, Captain Krupp, and the winner of that has to play Frost, and then they go back to play Strider. Then we got a few heated matches good. coming up. Dude, this local is so yeah, I get, dude. I, I know. I was I was just about to say it again. This local's been kind of insane. If Frost was seventh seed, yeah, who's seed above it? Acetyl, right? Acetyl. That feels Krupp, illegal. Acetyl, Krupp, Felix. I'm thinking. Oh, 
Arconi was kind of got fucked. So you're, what you're saying is that Homie just made Upset City. I, I guess. Hmm. Where did Arcon? Where did Arconi? Where did he lose to? I think I can. Oh, he lost to Rensley. Okay. Fuck. Yikes. Who did he lose to in losers? I I couldn't tell you. Oh, he lost a crop. Okay, so he lost to both fucking uh, crop brothers today. Damn, that's you hate to see it. Honestly, yeah. unless you're me, I like to see it. Oh right, yeah, crop crop got upset. You're, you're correct. Two, one, go. All right, but here we go. Fox Captain Falcon right into it. Crop. Back on PS2. Loser semis. PS2. Loser semifinals, baby. This feels like a grand. What touch. a! It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Really, really carries that much weight to it. Yeah. It's weird to see this match in semis. They are just yeah. Okay. It's, it's gonna be that kind it's... of match. I I agree. Is this controller broken or something? I'm like, bro. Who's? What? Oh. Boy. Oh. No. What? He's dead. Why did that break? That was a triple attack. Excuse me. Dude, get up attack Moe's through shield, especially if both both hits happen. It, it doesn't break shields, but it eats them. It, for breakfast. Can down throw break shields? Why do you know this? Oh no, dude. Oh, thank you. Trump, dude, I, honestly, I think Trump might be out of gas a little bit. Maybe, or, or not crop, uh, Felix might be. Nah, I think it was. You got a little shook, but you gotta. Don't let that take you down. Right. Oh, it, 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 yeah, it could just be a rough start, huh? Not to we're seeing a lot of. Well, second and third. Yeah. It's kind of sad when I'm about yes. to go now, but Frost decided to be a gamer today. Yeah. It's this high flying offense, you know? What's that two seeds? That's pretty good for it. Oh yeah, I mean that that's that's not easy for anyone to do. Yeah, now he got that. Now there's a funny thing too, is that he always uh he jokes about not being ranked because he wants to win the Arcadian. A bunch of right. Again, I don't even know if the Arcadian's gonna happen. That's the funny part. We don't even know if it's happening. Well dude, but then it's some like... people take be like, take not being ranked as like a, an insult. And I can honestly see where they're coming from. Oh, I see it too, but Frost is then it's just like... Yeah, he wants to win it for the money, and then the Shredder, literally day one after... Because he's beaten Krupp before, and I was like, oh no, you got a Krupp win. No matter how much you throw, no how much you lose at Ascension, you're going to get ranked and beat Krupp once. Right, yeah, Krupp's <laughs> <laughs> there, There's yeah. no shot. <laughs> that downer's just gonna kill. He, he garners that kind of reputation. Yeah. I don't even think Shredder would let him attend to. <laughs> <laughs> Shorter would be like, no, two, Don't three. He wouldn't, yeah, he wouldn't let it happen. I killed him the last Arcadian? I killed it popped off. He was 25th seed, too. Wow! Yeah. And he beat Arconian Grants. Arconian Grants, that's insane. That was when Arconi played Meta Knight. That was a weird era. Yeah, that's right. I think he brought him out for the, uh... The invitation. Did he actually? Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, almost getting that double jump. That backer is. Just... Oh. Why does that kill? It's wicked strong. I'll tell you that much. I think, yeah, I think he brought him out before Pyramither came. I think that was it. Mm. I know. I yeah, I've not seen him switch off that character in bracket. I think I've seen him play Joker like once or twice. That's it though. Okay. Yeah, but I have not seen the Mennonite or the the Sorties since Aegis. Right. But still a close game one for these two. Hopefully Felix doesn't let that loss get him down and hopefully he can bounce back. I would like to see a game five here. Yeah. Right. Despite being off to a rough start, um, Felix has been doing pretty okay. Uh, uh, all right, he's in it. He's in it. He's gamer leaning. Look how far Felix is leaning in right oh now. Oh my God, Felix is getting sucked into the TV right now. Honestly, I've never seen him that 
invested in the game. Like, that's it. I he is. got downed by Falcon, bro. Don't take it out on the TV, boys. man. I mean, he's calming down a little bit. Good, good, oh. good, good, good for it. Good double jump reach. Oh, he's taunting. He's got to hype himself up. Oh, All right. yikes. I see you. Me too. And these two are camping each other. <laughs> <laughs> Crump is camping the ever living shit out of Riley right now. Is... God damn, it is. Bro. I mean, can they you are... blame him? I'd be a little scared to approach too. I, I can. I don't know I don't know the matchup. How this matchup works at all. Ooh, cast a double jump again. Still pretty even though. Ryan. I think Riley's doing really well against playing against. Uh, he was showing it against Frost for a bit too. Though. Who did he play? Who did Felix play earlier? Did we only see Felix versus Frost on stream? No, it was no, we saw Felix versus. We saw, uh, yeah. Yeah, and the, we were seeing how patient he was playing it. So I'm really liking that. Even though he was down, he lost his stock in 30%. But he is. I was just gonna say he was in the lead, but he's not anymore. Yeah, but not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. That's not it. It's okay. Ah, oh, lame. Makes me angry. But he's keeping it close right now, so it's really, really cool to see that. Oh, and good air dodge read too, that was so clean. Cool. Simple and clean. Uh oh. Oh, you see that one down air. Sometimes that's really all it takes. That oh, hit. yeah, there's a down tilt. Man. Whew. Let's go, succeeding. If Riley got one more hit, I'm saying Riley, I'm sorry, it's Felix. It's weird calling them. Well, <laughs> you, you are friends, so yeah. it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's a I little mean, I, weird. I, I, I get it. But uh, I think if Felix got one more hit there, definitely could have. Oh, I heard the wolf. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, wolf? Okay. Wolf, I heard the Whoa, wolf. Whoa, this there is new. It is. Okay, this, 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 is, this is new for everyone. Okay, I'm excited to see the wolf because I did not have fun playing against yeah. it last night. <laughs> oh, no jump. I don't think he's played one in bracket at all, but I don't know how to do it. I'm too curious. Very much so. But It'll be interesting to see the least. I mean, you know, that is kind of how you play the character sometimes. Dude, I honestly, I'm just kind of trying to let the gameplay speak for itself because this is some of the best gameplay of these characters that you'll see in a while. It's very slow and methodical, which I love to see. Yeah, I, I think Felix went with the wolf to try to like, you know, get get the like simple easy combos and not have to like play, you know. Just make it look like you're playing Guitar Hero just to get all these, you know, button inputs in time. Yeah, play the better character. Oh, he yeah. doesn't get the tech chase, though. That's what I'm saying, dog. is oh, gonna be so close to this match. Oh. That What's that kid? Is, is devastating. It's, a, it's a, such a good whip punish tool, uh, like, within Captain Falcon's burst range. Why does it kill? Oh, that's not gonna kill yet, though. I wish I knew. No, unfortunate with the SD. I don't think he jumped there. Yeah, I don't think so either. Eftil not taking the stock just yet. Nope. There's that first stock. Alright, here we go. Alright, about time. Felix. It is time to turn on the Jets now, my friend. You either have it right now or you don't. Push 45, 53, 61. Oh my god. Trump does not want to match here. I'm just saying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. He could take this stop. Oh, but he gets spiked through the stage. That downer is so broken. You're just gaming. Oh, Come on, man. Well, he was just like starting that. to get something going, too, but unfortunately, 
Yeah, for Felix, they get 3-0'd by Krupp. Every time I see Felix play, it's like they, they get rid of one Bracket Demon just to find another one rise to take its place. That's gotta be so annoying, especially when you're getting camped out the entire game, too. Oh, I can imagine, yeah. But hey, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, you know? <laughs> he really doesn't, though. Falcon Falcon. Falcon. Falcon's kind of nuts. People aren't ready for that conversation, but he he's a little he's a little bit good. I I, I can I can say. I can say with some confidence that this character is not bad. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good. All right, but we are gonna get hey, Frost man. back on for the run back. Krupp versus Frost. Krupp Frost, the the gentleman's bout. Uh, we didn't get to see this on stream earlier, but from what we know, Frost did two one Captain Krupp in the winner's yes. quarters. So we'll see what happens in the best of five. And looks like he is sticking with the Krom, so not too worried good. about down air, which. Here we go. Right, so... But then again, we do know that Krupp is a master at sniping out those recoveries. Uh, but hopefully the Ramsey session was, uh, was, was able to give him everything he needed. And, you know, time will tell. Man, he's looking solid right now. It's still an even game. Oh. Yeah. It's too early to call, but... Oh, tries to get a two frame downer, not gonna happen. Yet, oh, but there, there, yeah. Doesn't even need the two frame, he's just gonna go off stage and do it. Go for the deep one. And, okay, jab. No backer to be had, though. Perfect time on the air dodge. Oh. Try to space out that get up attack. Oh, oh that super, super armor's gonna, gonna power. Down air. Damn. These plays are immaculate for these players. There's a couple up airs looking for a landing option, but it will not be the one that he expects. And that Jair's still gonna connect. That didn't look like it was true, but I think he just went with it anyway. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Good high that's recovery. Not gonna get punished for it. Ross looking for a Nair up B. He wants to trade stocks, but luckily his stock is gonna just dissipate like that. That's what we get for trying to cheese Frost! <laughs> Come on, man. Be better. Literally. Oh my god, 51? 63? He doesn't have a jump. That'll happen from a Nair off stage. Jesus Christ. So he doesn't punish the landing, though. I'll end you. I'll end you. I'll end you. I'm gonna end you. The jab one two was so impossible to punish on guys. Oh my god, yeah, definitely. All right, but he's able to get the, the jab at the ledge. The episode will come out, or not the episode? Excuse me, the uh, Falcon kick. Oh, Ooh. he goes deep for that one. All right, this is still winnable. It's right, yeah, come definitely. Pretty much hey, rage hey, Roy. Hey, Frost, yeah, Frost did beat Krupp in winner's side, so he knows what he needs to do in order to come out on top of this one for sure. But the difference is this time it is a best of five set instead of a best of three. Captain Falcon not knowing what to do with the kill right now. Sitting at 150, Frost looking kind of solid. Putting him back on the ledge. Oh! Oh, tries to get the jab smash, but that f tilt's not gonna let, let him have it. He makes it back okay. no way. He does indeed. That's the gentleman two. jab from center. Not gonna kill. He has to land. Is he gonna nope, just neutral get up. Gets the down tilt. The tech will be had though. Oh my god, Frost. No! Way! Tilt. He does it! Wow! He's clutching that win out. Whoa, that's what we like to see. Man, that was that was that was really cool. 
Cross was down. Cross was down. He, he played that so confidently. He wasn't throwing up panic options. He was just playing it safe. It, that was insane. He played that last time super well. Especially when you could tell that Krupp was... He did not know what to do. He was just trying to find something. Anything. And he got... Yikes. He played his game. He played so well. Excellent. Excellent work from our good friend. Now, uh, we're going to a game two, and it looks like Captain Krupp is, is looking to get a commanding lead on the offense already, but Frost is going blow for blow with him right now. Yeah, looking pretty even. 73-80, but this might be it. No, that backer's not going to connect just yet. Oh, but that Nair will. Beautiful stock from Captain Krupp. They get back onto stage, but they're going to be thrown off immediately by Frost. And Frost is in a Falcon combo, 30% and climbing, but a nice spot dodge to avoid that grab. I'm gonna keep my man's living for quite a little bit longer, but these up airs putting Frost all the way at 74. That bag, or that grab back there is gonna put him off stage for 84%, 90. Captain Krupp has barely been hit in the last couple minutes. Yeah, Krupp is kind of gaming right now. He looks impossible to touch. Frost really needs that nice. one chair. Just waiting for it, but that down tilt is probably gonna be the end of him. Yeah, he had no options there. Alright. Not even a one. That's a little jab back air. It is not over for Frost just yet. We've seen him come back just like the last game. It might happen again. He's gonna get a fair from Ledge. Oops, that fair is gonna shield poke though. A little aggressive with a side B. Might cross. Oh, nope, gonna jump out of that side B. Wow, he made that back too. I'm surprised he didn't get hit there. Yeah, I, I sometimes can't believe what I'm seeing. Alright. These follow-ups with Krupp are so good. He, he's doing a good job of um, applying pressure, but not overextending at all. So that downer was a little risky, but doesn't get punished for it. Oh! Nope. Never punished. Oh, he got a disadvantage. I like it. That might have been it. Yeah. And there's a spike. I think he meant to Captain land Krupp on stage with that. Trying to prove that that first win in bracket and in the set was a complete fluke. He's doing so in a big way, but he didn't maybe have to be that rude about it. A little bit. I mean, come on, man. He's a competitor just like you are. Uh, I think you a little bit too close to I think he wanted to land on stage, it looked like. I don't see him. Right. I don't see anyone fast falling with Krom off stage. That just doesn't happen these days. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't see it so much. Either. Alright, moving on to game three. Already went three. Yeah, one to one's exactly what you like to see in situations like this, man. Oh my God, he's going deep for it already. But Frost able to make it back. That was uh, that was a scary option from Frost. That knee he nearly ended things early. Yeah, we're just trying to end him, man. Jeez. <laughs> like let him breathe. Please. What did he do? He's just a kid, man. Yeah, but now, but now, uh, you know, Frost trying to throw that edge guard back in space, kept him at the ledge for a good while, but it doesn't even matter. You piss off the sleeping giant, and he will strike. Takes that percent back in a big way. Oh, but he gets the spike cheese. Let's go, Frost, doing what he does best. Gimmicky. I, I was gonna complain about that whole combo being true, but then uh, he got upbeat. <laughs> oh, you know, really can't complain so much. Yeah, it's like, well, it happens, but you gotta beat all that hard work you did. Doesn't even matter. He's gonna don't let it happen again. Thank you. Don't let it be you. Bro, the jet? Just up, he's back to ledge. Oh, doesn't have a jump. Ooh, I think he's gonna make it back. Yeah, doesn't finish the edge guard. Ooh, good tech call on the F smash. Well, super deep. Going deep for it. Oh, oh too what deep. are you doing? That was an Icarus play. He flew a little bit too close to the sun there. Okay. Now Krupp cut, cut firmly in the driver's seat. Oh, shield poke with a down throw. Each. Yeah, yeah, that, that down tilt's deadly, man. Since it's such a brutal angle, even from center, that could have been killing. Uh, and this Krupp. pressure for Krupp, yeah, Frost just can't land. 
So now 145 is gonna get that jab. Can we get another Rage Not Croy well. moment? <laughs> Rage Croy! Oh, he tried to do jab, jab, wow. jab one more time. Doesn't happen. I think, yeah, I think next. Percent. Yeah, I think Frost dropped shield. Uh, and got hit by the gentleman's, but yeah. There it is. Falcon can't do it raw. Works every time. Man! God damn. I really wanted to try and see Frost bring that back like he did um, in in game one, but since game one, it's all it's been the Krupp show. Yeah, Krupp was not too happy about losing this little kid over here, so. Uh... No, I believe it. Just me. I think everyone feels the same way. God damn, it's so kid. Just mash Krupp and stuff. I'm like fuck. I hate this guy. So I never want to go to a tournament again. <laughs> Plays the easiest character in the game. Give me a break. <laughs> but we're going to game four. Frost is doing a good job of. One thing I will say about this set is that Frost has been doing an amazing job of just keeping Krupp at ledge for a long period of time, and getting so much damage off of like little ledge interactions. It's always been the meme. Uh, he's like the best left trap in the world. He's fucking wrong. What? So he just jabs, but it, it really has gotten a lot better. And that's not even just oh, yeah. the Ramsey's thing. Just every time I watch him, it's just less trapping just like, even more insane. It's the offstage game that kind of stuck, sucks a little bit. But then again, it's it's wrong. You're not supposed to go off stage. What are you doing? What are you waiting for? Oh, there's the. Damn, still died for that too. Man. Looks like it's all crap right now. Oh my god, the reads. He's reading everything right now. Nair knee. He goes super deep. He brought out the Oxford for that one. And yeah. Game four goes to Krupp with a three stock victory. Krupp, after getting eliminated early by Frost, gets his revenge. Whoa. And our second seed is now going to play against our one seed in Grands. The one person here tonight who I think might actually be able to uh, beat Homie here. Bro. That was so, just a um, suit of death. Wow, that was insane. Update from Amateur's Finals. We have Dark Synchron, the Falcon player, who played early on stream our first set of the night, beating Zekrom in Am Amateur's Finals. So they get themselves the first three. Congratulations. Dark Synchron. Let's go, real keep going. Woo! Woo! It was 3 2, yeah. Uh, on to Grands, though. I see the Sora Ditto. Uh oh. Okay. Sora Ditto? Sora Ditto. Oh no. It's been pretty good. So. Yeah, I don't know. Because, I mean, Schroeder's is great, and Krupp's a good player, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if Krupp knows what he's getting into. We're about to find out, honestly. I'm, <laughs> uh, something's going on. He's man. probably just thinking, hey, I got second, I'm fine. They're all chatting over there, what's going on? I see Frost still in the player game. I don't know, yeah. Frost is making his rounds right now. He's like, fuck, I won, but then I lost. He's probably like, where am I getting paid at? Honestly. Where my money? Where my money at? So now... Uh, see, honestly, I, I haven't seen Krupp's store yet. So I don't know, I don't know who to get the edge to. I'm just gonna say Stroder, probably. And we're gonna call Three, it today. Two, Most likely. Yeah. Unless you have unless you have any disagreements, now's the time. Man, there's so many weird stuff. Thunder. Yeah, honestly. Take this! Take this! Take this! Triple finish!
I like Sora, but goddamn, this Ditto, I was playing it. Uh, it is probably the worst Ditto I've ever played. Yeah, Sora is like really hard to combo with Sora things. Even then, it's just uninteresting. You just camp each other out and press into them. Yeah, honestly. It's a little, it's a little, a little weird Ditto, I can, I can admit. Take this, take this! So that's the, the Stroder classic we're going to be calling it now because he's the only person I've seen go under the stage to use uh, Thundaga. But there's a dash attack 2 frame. They were just back off! Yeah, that's back off! I don't really know how to say about Sora. Just a little kid, man. You got your doing this. I don't know. Little oh, jank. He's a little goober. Yeah. We do a little thing. Why did that combo? I don't. I it, like does, it, up it doesn't look true. It feels like it doesn't look true, but it, for some reason it is sometimes. Yeah, it feels like it just shouldn't work sometimes. I don't know what. I was looking on Twitter too. I think some people. I think Leia was sending this character to Baroque, and he can stop it. Maybe? I don't. I don't. I don't know about that one. I don't know. I, I don't know at all. Granted, Leo Leo does know the game better than any any person currently living, except for maybe Charles. But I just don't see it. But again, I don't know what I see in this game compared to these other players. Clearly, they see more than I do. Some people are oracles about it. I'm afraid of that one. I, I will admit. Yeah, man, these, like, engagements and disengagements from uh, Schroeder are, are just, they're crisp and they're pretty. They just look fake. Yeah, he gets extensions off of nothing. It just looks weird. Looks like yeah. a completely Sword different does, game. He does play kind of weird in this game, huh? They're both just, like, I don't, I don't know what to do, because I, I, I don't know if you, how to counterplay it. I don't know if you just... Nash an attack out of it, you air dodge all yeah. that, the fake stuff. I don't know. It's so weird to just... <laughs> I don't get it. All yeah. I know is that it's up he kills. And it kills so easily. Back off! <laughs> oh my god, these two are the same person. Oh my god! These two are the same person. These guys are unreal. Thunder! I might be Nope. He even baited him, but he get, didn't get the punish with the counter. Yeah. That up throw is super strong. It's so random. Oh my god. That throw is great. So, this match has been... This yeah, he does have two kill throws, doesn't he? And that out throws one of them. That match took four minutes. Oh, so how long that took? Uh, Schroeder, can you hurry up for three? Because I don't know if I want to watch yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Krupp, Cr please go play Falcon or something. I don't know. Krupp just camped the shit out of Felix earlier, too. It's like, bro. Krupp, steal his money. It'd be funny. I guess. I guess he's respecting it. I, I guess, I guess. He's a little bit more respectful than I gave him credit for initially. Bro? Zelda, Zelda okay. She's playing another a buffed character. Interesting. I yeah, Zelda got I think Zelda's buffs are pretty substantial. That down air's huge now. Yeah, um so her, her jab is faster. She's very good now. I don't know if she's very good now. What is that? I'd say she's very good now, but that's just me. Take this! You can believe whatever you want to believe, mate. I just choose to believe the truth. Oh, you don't have to go there. Why? Oh, we do. And we 69? have. Nice! Nice! Nice, dude! What just happened? Why oh, did he die at zero? I don't know. I looked away for me. Yeah, he did. 
and then he ran into it? That's crazy! Like, I know that... Wow, okay, well, that was, uh, that was the video game. That was faster than last month, so I'm happy. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you got your speed boost. Yeah, they're, they're having fun. <laughs> I hope, <laughs> Boy, I hope. are they. I hope they're having fun. Yeah. Because <laughs> I certainly am, too. Yeah. Totally. Totally okay, having fun. he's going back with the Sora. Yeah, hey, production, can we get a, a replay of the uh, Phantom later? This piece. Uh-oh, it's Kingdom Hearts 3. Go! Thank you so much. Production, you're yeah. on fire tonight, and I want you to know that. <laughs> he responded by saying PK fire, by the way, chat. I don't know, I don't know what's going on anymore. PK fire! Did you say PK thunder? Oh, I'm sorry. You said it in a funny voice, I didn't understand it. That was me. Oh, was that Fusky? Wait, that, that was... was me. Oh. Fire. Well, damn, I am all over the place tonight, huh? You have to watch a sword, though. Yeah, honestly, my brain's kind of on the floor right now. This character looks weird. This character looks weird. The Dittos looks lame, not gonna lie. They're kind of just doing random I... shit. I don't know how to commentate it. Like, ooh, they pressed I, honestly, A two like... times, not three. They pressed it twice, not the third time. Whoa. What the what I honestly, I honestly don't know how to determine, um... Who's good and who's not, like, in this matchup, you know? I'm in the same character. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the F smash! Fire! You just down the rest? And, dude, it happens. It happens to the worst of us. Don't let it be you. I won't let it be you, or it will be. I better just get like, the looks of these Yeah. Dude, up smash is kind of insanely strong. Oh! oh so is up beat, by the way. Oh, so is down air, too, by the way. I'm surprised up beat didn't beat that. Uh, the down air there, though. I don't think it was the finishing hit, but, like, down air is a strong hit for, like, throughout. Go to up smash. I love it. Back off! God, this Sora guy is kind of funny with his voice lines. Guys, he's so funny and quirky and stuff. I'm gonna try the King I haven't played. Games. Yeah, like, when they come out, I'm gonna try I, I haven't played it, so I, I... He's just kind of goofy to me. I'm happy people are happy, but I don't get it. Yeah, I hope I get it when I play the game. Right. That, well, that, for, for me, that's an if, because... I've got, I don't have a lot of free time on my hands, and I'm, I'm already backed up in the RPG department. Oh, what are you playing? Um, Octopath, and then I'm gonna play FF7, oh, and then I'm gonna play Three Houses. Oh. Three Houses isn't like a JRPG, but it's still not yet. Yeah. You still got a, a nice backlog. Oh! Ah! And, uh, that's a 3-0, and a handshake. Sora! They didn't actually shake hands. I don't think they did either. They just disconnected their controllers. Probably just shit talking. <laughs> Sora's better than your bitch. Oh, they did do a fist bump. Okay, cool. Good to know. Thank you, production. My Sora's better than yours, bitch. <laughs> the only person I've never seen fist bump is uh, Player 4. Don't Never have I ever seen uh, Player 4 do a fist bump. Man. Anyway, guys, watch Ascension this weekend. Oh, yeah. That's happening. It's That's a thing. It's going to be way. epic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's going to be this Saturday. All day. And baby. you will. All day, baby. And you will not want to miss it. Trust me. I know because I am missing it and I'm a little upset oh, about it. Oh, here's that little bullshit we miss. Yeah, he died at zero. Oh, yeah, yeah. He did do that. That, wow, unfortunate. I think that's funny. That's content. <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it is content. I agree. Content. So, that's all I like to see. Woo! All right. 
Anyway, we got some highlights for y'all. As we look at the wonderful QB yeah, sports. So this is not our first set tonight. Rage yeah. Roy! Oh, yeah, yeah, this is Rage Roy. This is the, I think this is the first comeback, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, it was. That's very cool. Oh, we oh, got oh yeah, this here. is Kira Flax. Kira Flax showing up tonight in a big way. I don't... Didn't didn't quite make top eight, but um, they were they were one game or sorry one set away from doing so. The edge guard of course, the uh, the crumbler that ditto. Cool. That edge guard so so cold. I love that. Here's the quick zero to death from Astro real quick. Yeah, yeah. Gotta love that. Beautiful, beautiful coverage. Like, man, this is game three too. It's so, so, so so insane that he was you know he had the wherewithal to go for that. Quick zero to death from Shota real quick, no big deal. Yeah. MBD, MBD, just had a uh, had him read like a freaking dictionary. Get out my face! Get off my stage! Get out of here, mate! It's the edge guard on the crumb, and Grells falls straight down from that back air. Oh, yeah. this almost oh, yeah, happened too. God. Yeah, I know. Right at the end here, it got just choked away. Just barely. It's unfortunate. Here's Frost getting absolutely schmixed upon. <laughs> upon? <laughs> boop, boop, boop! Gone. Yep. Shoosh. Again. But uh, that's uh, going to do it for us here at Rewind. I think that's what this this. Why did that happen? Been nicknamed. Oh, flashback. Excuse me. Right. This is the pre-ascension one. Oh, the comeback from Frost. Boom. Man, that's so sick. Man, Schroeder's so skilled and cool. I wanna, <laughs> I wanna be him. I wanna be Schroeder. I wanna be Schroeder, Ame. Does, does he zero to death or <laughs> no? No, he doesn't. He can't. There's no way. Dang. So, dude, honestly, I don't know how I feel about Sora as a competitive uh, character yet, because I really haven't seen him played against too many opponents, but we will see uh, as the meta develops. But, you know, it's a little bit of a taste here tonight. Um, but that's going to do it from us here at Pure Smash. Um, yeah. The one before Ascension. <laughs> Ascension is going to be this Saturday. It's going to be an all-day event. I'm super excited. Everyone's yeah, going to be there. Yeah, The biggest retail Definitely in the tune in. Hope everyone's excited. If you're not going, uh, go to the next one if it happens. I don't know what to tell you. You missed yeah. out. You're going to miss out. If you're out. not going... If, if you're also not going, watch it in Twitch chat with me. I will be watching and I'll be enjoying it. So, um, anyway, that is going to do it for us here tonight. I'm going to get really close and personal to the camera real quick uh, just to talk to you guys about that. But um, it's been a great event. Amazing evening. Thank you all for tuning in. It's been been real. It's been good. It's been, per it's been real good, I'd say. Um, but uh, sadly, that's going to do it for us. Now, if you want to keep in touch with all of our events here, follow SAK Gaming TV on Twitch. We do a couple events every week. Um, and we do a bunch of other cool stuff too, like Ascension and, you know, some video stuff and a lot of other shenanigans. So um, definitely check that out. Follow us on our Twitter as well. Uh, but if you want to follow me on my Twitter, it's down here. It's at LairdUSA. It's a no-brainer. I got some cool projects in the works. I actually have a really cool announcement that I'm not able to talk about yet because I don't know if it's it's for real, but it might be for real. So uh, stay posted on that. And um, how about Fusky? Where should everyone follow you and, and see all of your stuff? Well, right down below is my Twitter, at Fusky Vibes. I also stream with the same name over on Twitch. I've been doing a lot of offline grind sessions with some of the Arizona homeboys coming up for Ascension. So if you ever want to come in and watch, or maybe you want to be featured on one of those before, you know, we got a few days left, so hit me up on Twitter if you're down to come play for a bit. But uh, I think that'll be it for me, too. I hope you all enjoy yeah. tonight. I hope you are enjoying Sora. Finally done. Last character. Super cool. Woo! No more 
No more speculation. We did lose the fighters past three. Shut up. It's not happening. It's not happening. But hey, in the in the end of all things era, which is what I'm gonna dub it, with with no no more balance patches, presumably, no more new stages, no more new characters, none of this stuff. Uh, we could probably put some of our discourse aside and get back to business as usual. And uh, our our rule set will probably be consistent going forward. We're gonna figure that sort of thing out. I'm excited uh, for this era. Uh, you know, you don't have to learn new matchups every weekend <laughs> or every three months or something. So it'll be fun. It's going to be nice. So um, you know, stay tuned for some more Smash here in the state of Arizona. Tune into Ascension this weekend right here on this Twitch. You're not going to regret it unless you miss it. Then you you might regret it a little bit. But a little bit. until then, have a great night, guys. See you at Ascension.